So Were you you guys also went and cleared some of the the side rooms that you guys had skipped earlier? Um or scouted them and decided not to clear them in the case of the one that had the giant uh, plant in it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, yeah, so... we did a good old door shutting. <laughs> yeah, you guys like, let's not go in there. It's whatever, whatever's in there is not worth it. Um, and you guys know that like, like you got a little bit of information from the Callborn, who were kind of like the original ones that were. Uh, that like set this whole mission up kind of um they want you guys to go into this um through this portal into like another dimension basically called the dark forest um so yes i'm really asked or found much more uh, specific beyond that but supposedly that's where the um that's where the uh, star piece is, the shattered star piece. Um, so it's foretold. Yeah. Uh-huh. So, kind of at the moment now, you guys are, you know, you're back in town getting a rest. I think um, Hilbo used one of his um, uh, prestige points or whatever yeah. they're called to cure the ability mm-hmm. drain that he'd gotten. I think somebody else had some ability drain too, so that's something I you can do with those. Have one. Yeah, that's something you can do with those points um that you guys got in the last couple books. Uh if you want, you can use I think it only costs one for a restoration to get rid of a drain. It costs more if you want to get rid of a negative level, but for drain it's I think it's just one point. I don't mind too much with the strength. I don't really use it too much. Yeah, there's a table so, in the player's guide about that. This dark forest place, how are we supposed to get there? There's a portal. Like, I know so, that's a thing. Yeah, so the Callborn are holding open a portal. Um, they told you, you way. know. Uh, they said they're going to hold a... it open from the other side, but they said it's very painful to come back. Um that like it's not so this isn't easy a portal to that was destroyed with an adamant pickaxe in the middle of the night no well probably okay. not uh, maybe you don't know you haven't been back there but probably not um yeah like i said you guys do have opportunity like you guys could ask the callborn more about it when you guys go back you could also if you wanted to before you go down there you could you could do some research perhaps uh in Karamaga as well. Um, but yeah, what you know is that supposedly the the Shattered Star piece, uh, the shard is in um, is in this dimension, the Dark Forest, and uh, the Callborn uh, are holding open the portal. Basically, you just touch you touch the obelisk. Basically, it's there, and it'll like it'll. Uh, Bring you into that dimension. And okay. Yeah, well, said, I mean, like, we know that there's said this giant win. ass library that we can go to to research first. That's true. That's a place you could check. I guess that might be a good idea to get some information about what might be in this dimension, and to see if there's maybe any clues as to where the star piece is in it. I don't know if okay. we'll find that out. Unless we ask Maybe. someone who has, like, I don't know, divining powers. Which we do know, but he's kind of already told us that it's there. Yeah, yeah you guys also, uh... I can't remember, did you guys actually bring... I don't think you guys actually brought it back to him yet, but you guys did get some bottled water from the, that weird river that's, like, kind of... Yeah, um, Hannah did. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's sort of like, uh from when you were, like, analyzing it, it sort of was, like, uh, from the river sticks, kind of, mm-hmm. but it was bl- had bled somehow into the material plane. So he was interested in, in that water. Like, it's very dangerous, but, um, 
he had also has some unique properties that uh, that he was like interested in. So he asked you to give him some, um, and you guys used some magic to safely uh, harvest some for him. And for myself. Or, uh, well, I assume field. that we're 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 moving out of the the little dungeon for now, and yeah, going back. And right. Well, you guys already did. Like I have that. you guys yeah, back in. I have you guys back in Karamaga. I think you guys went back, and like it was it was pretty late in the day at that point. So I think you guys went back mm -hmm. and and slept um and then you know you got your level up so it's kind of like a new day it's like early it's in the morning uh, right now so it's kind of like what do you guys want to do um yeah, first i guess um, so we're gonna <laughs> like go you go back to august portal. deal now if you want i need to figure out what i need to prepare spell wise so it might take me a moment i'm gonna what buy a handy haversack know about that place uh... yeah I don't we think know that we don't lot. know a lot about it yeah, we should go to the what's it, the thoracic spire. Yeah, you guys have to pass through the, th the thoracic spire anyway, so you guys could stop there and you could ask, um, you could ask Koifa for like, hey, can we look up information about this place that we're going into? She might, she might be able to direct. Yeah. You. Okay, let's do that. After all. So after breakfast in the, uh, whatever Swing that by the market, pick up and... Andy Haversock. Yeah, and more smoke sticks. And I'm also going to ask Hannah, um, I know you do a lot of alchemical stuff. Is there any way you can make these smoke sticks more effective? They were really useful fighting those, those fairy things, but if we could make these cover more area quicker, then we could really put our opponents at a disadvantage. And I've I'm getting a lot better at fighting, um, you know, in, in cover and smoke. Uh, or you put me at a disadvantage, I mumble. No, unfortunately I Not can't. me with my keen half-elf eyes. I can't improve these, unless you I mean, know I of something, I don't, I don't know. In, hmm. Umbrella says, you're smart. You should be able to figure something out. I mean, if, if you... I know, I think you could. I can look I'll at my say spell book, we... but I think... I, I can make use of them, but I don't know how I can make them stronger for you to use them. Yeah, I know there are alchemical power components for things like Obscuring Mist. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, like I can use them to empower my spells, but there, I, there's nothing she can do to help others with these items. Not by the rule. Oh. Another option, too, um, is that Jace has Craft Wondrous item, right? Yes. Yeah. He could True. possibly so he... turn them into a magical item, or use them as a basis for perhaps, one. or yeah, make make you an item that does uh that does something very similar to uh, a smoke stick. Or you guys could powerful. both put your heads together, make an alchemical smoke stick that is so light that it could be turned into a magical item that doesn't hamper us and only hinders our opponents. So we need fog cutting gla glasses. Got it. Okay. Uh... Yeah, or like Maybe, a fog yeah. cutting like item or something. Reverse engineer a pair of fog cutting glasses or something. Yeah. I mean, I can craft them. Just need the cash. Well, it sounds like Abrellis here wants more smoke, and I can certainly make more yeah. smoke happen. But yeah, if you can make more smoke. About that? Like, do we have blind fight on? Every I character know, I do now. Umbrellas. Yeah. What about uh, the others? Nope. No, I mean, I I wouldn't want smoke every fight, but now and then, if it Not happens, every if fight. it's helping us, then I can true strike if I know what square they're in. And then I will hit through concealment. But like in that last fight, the smoke happened to help us like a lot because those things were weak in 
in like a, yeah. you know, like in the concealment, but me putting up like a smoke thing is one of my best defenses if I'm forced into combat against something or something that has like dark vision and look like we're in the dark because I, I effectively cut them off from their their sense. I think the, the book expected you to break the panels that were illuminating the light. Like it has all this oh, probably yeah. breaking it. But I was, once you threw the smoke down, I was like, well, I, seem, I think that would work too. Like all of the thing that's making them invisible is all the light. Like they only have invisibility in bright light. Mm -hmm. So I was like, I know technically the smoke doesn't affect the illumination, but like realistically, it kind of would. <laughs> like if you're on a smoke cloud, you're not, you're not in bright light anymore. Yeah. Like at that point, I think it yeah. just turns back into normal light. If there's so. anything neat, Hannah can experiment with or or whip up, that would be cool. That's what Abrellis expresses. She wants to pursue this fighting dirty and smoke. Yeah, something to think about for, you know, downtime. Um, oh, fog cutting lenses are expensive. Yeah. Yeah, they are. Yeah, they're a lot cheaper if you craft them, though, for sure. But yeah, they are expensive. That's still expensive. I mean, keep in mind, these are, uh, these are items you normally get in, like, book four of an AP. That's, that's the AP that they were introduced in. Yeah, the the ability to completely ignore like fog and mist and stuff is insanely useful. But like for me, I'm just trying to take my own like personal extraordinary abilities and try to fight practically with them. Or what would be cool if there was like a way to make the smoke stick or something? Like, if the smoke like followed me, that'd be cool. Yeah, there's also the gauze mask, which has got the same effect, I believe, as spot cutting lens, but also costs just as much. I think the gauze mask, well, in some ways it's better. It's worse because it uses uh, it uses up like a head slot um so like maybe competes with other items but like it also gives you the ability to do water breathing for 60 minutes a day all right we got a handy hammer sack uh... all right yeah I... unless someone wants me to craft them fog cutting lenses for like 4k um I think we probably just go to Thoracic Spire after shopping. Yeah, I'm good with that. Okay. So you get to the Thoracic Spire. Uh, after, you know, after they confirm that it's you guys, uh, it's the Thoracic Spire still closed to the public at the moment. Uh, they, they let you in. Uh, old woman Koifa's there still. Uh, did we give the uh, the water to the troll? Uh, I don't think so. I think he still has. Let's it. do that. All right. So you say, hold up a minute. <laughs> We're gonna go to Downmark, and we'll be back. Yeah. And uh, you guys go to uh, the troll Alger Temple then. Yes. And. Uh, yeah, right now they recognize you, and they figure you're there to see Augustine, so they let you let you in and uh, direct you to him. And uh, yeah, so he 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 sees you, and he's like, "Oh, my friends, wonderful to see you again." Yep, you too. I I gesture uh, for Hannah to show him the thing. I show him the thing while I'm scribbling in my spellbook. So yeah, he he 
he says, oh, thank you. And he you can, he kind of holds it up, you know, and he's, he's eye looking at it, looking at it through the glass and kind of like swishing it around a little bit. And uh, he snaps out and says, oh, of course, I, I almost forgot. And he, he, he pulls out the, the wondrous uh, item that he promised. Um, I think I already, I already gave you guys the XP for this, but yeah, now you actually have the, uh, you guys actually have the wondrous item. It is a, um, what is it? Like a figurine. Um, and it looks like a fly. Yeah. So, and you can activate it, it like summons the fly and you can actually like ride on it. It's kind of a weird item, but kind of a utility It's cool. Item. He tells you, may it, you know, serve you well on your, on your travels in, uh, in the Undercity. I'd say so. Being able to fly on a fly. Yeah. Uh, he asks you, is there, is there anything else I can do to help you with, with your quest? I do tell him that. I got poisoned by something nasty, and I've got these muscle cramps that I sent, I can't get rid of. Did and I, I kind of show them where? Removing that from you? Wait, what? I have one drain. This is drain. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. You said poisoned. I was like, eh? how? Um. Okay. Yeah. He he looks at it. Um. Like at your like. Kind of like where the wound happened. Um, but he kind of shakes his head. He says, "This is beyond my healing powers." That's okay. I appreciate yeah. you looking at it. But Can you tell us he does tell you about... it doesn't. It doesn't look like oh. it's going. Like it looks like it. The poison seems to have run its course. I don't think it'll get any worse. Uh, do you have another question for him? He looks towards yeah, uh, uh, Jace. Do can you tell us anything about the uh, was it Dark Forest, the realm uh, that we're thinking about traveling to? The Dark Forest, you say? <sighs> I've heard of this place. It's something of a local legend. The Dark Forest and is said to be the realm of a ancient and powerful being that stalks the Undercity of Karamaga. It's said that sometimes he kidnaps people off the street, even. He's been here since before the Rune Lords. Yeah. Perhaps... Perhaps it was originally one of the people that built this place. And do you, does legend say what this creature is or what powers it has? Hmm. I fear if you have seen him and lived, he's some sort of undead creature. That's about all I know. Undead. Are there any other He's dangers or being... precautions we should take? Well, oh. there's more information, I guess, I can give you, too. He's described as being... as riding atop a powerful steed. An equally, uh, an equally terrifying creature that he rides upon. And ch most chilling of all, he's described as not having any head. Like some kind of headless horseman? Exactly. Uh, he, he rides on a horse? Right. Or, like, okay. A powerful undead horse. If you ever encounter him in open field, you would never be able to outrun him. Does, is it known if he has any weakness or how he may be defeated? 
that is not something I know about. If he's ever been defeated, word has never spread of it. It would probably take a powerful cleric or something of that nature, I'd imagine. You see, I grew up with the clerics of Torag, and they told me stories about creatures like these. Some that are so evil and possessed that they can only be killed, or they rise after death and they can only be truly killed from powerful clerics calling upon their god to smite the creature down and cleanse the area of yes. evil. It's probably so. If you were to kill him out here in the Undercity, Kermago, or out in the streets, surely he would reform within his domain. But fighting him in his own domain? I'm not sure what would happen. Mm, we'll have to be very careful. Hopefully we don't run into it. Yeah, it's possible. Uh, Perhaps you'll be able to find what you seek without having to confront him. Yeah, if you're in care for the worst. If you did, if you are venturing into the dark forest, you should expect that you will see him. I doubt anything goes into his realm without him knowing. Well, thank thank you. That is very helpful. Um... Is there any other information about the Dark Forest that we should know? Hopefully no other very mm. evil undead creatures. And I'm afraid there's nothing else I can tell you. I'm sure if we got our work cut out for us, we're gonna just we're gonna find something equally fantastical and terrifying as as what you've described. Hmm. Very well. Thank, thank you very much for the information. Uh, you may have just saved our lives by warning us. I hope that you'll have a safe trip in there. As much as it can be, at least. Anything exotic that you would want us to bring back for you? Uh, you've done enough for me already. I can't think All of anything right. else. But I do hope if you can come back alive, that would be... Well, we'll try to do that. And we might bring something back for you, your sister. We owe, we owe her one, too. Uh, trust me, she doesn't consider... She doesn't consider uh, you to be in her debt. Huh. For her. We'll bring you back something nice anyway. A souvenir. All right. I'll look forward to it then. All right. Unfortunately, he's only got level two spells, so he doesn't have restoration. I have some. Interesting spells. I don't know. Let's get to using them then. I'm all good. Let's go back there to the at, spire. At spells, and I'm like, you know what? I see these spells like every game, every Pathfinder we game. Our our casters always. Oh yeah, there's spells. always. And I'm like, you know what? I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna take this instead. <laughs> There are certain yeah, take some other interesting ones. Yeah. There are certain spells at every level that it, like people tend to gravitate towards. Well, it's like I could like, take spells like always good. Yeah, greater invisibility or not. <laughs> I mean, it's yeah. a really good spell, but it's like I don't know. Abrellus wants smoke, not invisibility. Hell yeah. <laughs> if you get a uh... well, cause... yeah, if you get. Because, like, there are certain things that smoke is actually more useful against. If an opponent has true seeing, 
unless you're like, way way high level to get like mind blank invisibility doesn't help against that but smoke is a practical effect like they can't true sight through smoke uh, yep it's I actually that, there i guess there's still concealments huh they can locate where yep. you are at the most but yeah that's fair sometimes they can't even do that if you're like you know 15 feet back in a cloud then even with true scene, like they can't see through the smoke if it's actual smoke, you know. Did we get either a conjury or a fog, even? Too, or no? Uh, Silver chose a uh, greater grapple. Oh, nice! So you can pin and stuff right away. And flying kick for the style strike. Ooh. Also really good. Yay. Um. What's uh? What's Silver's bonus uh monk move speed for the flying kick range? It's thirty because it increases at nine. Nice, so yeah. So now oh, you can move like 30 feet and I won't have to be like, only that first attack's gonna count. We'll actually be able to take <laughs> all of them for a lot more situations, so. Yeah, it's gonna be good. Alright. Yeah, um, let's put all so... the magic to use. So the yeah, rest you expire are... time. You guys are done talking with August Steel, then yeah, you can make your way back to the high side stacks. Um back into the thoracic spire uh yeah i'm actually kind of terrified now <laughs> after hearing that good or like good. oh my god where's our paladin i should have uh, i should have asked if you were afraid earlier and then been like you will be <laughs> <laughs> a paladin not here in magnum i mean probably back in magnamar probably not in Kermaga. yeah this isn't yeah Paladins aren't well. You know there might be some paladins in the bottoms that are like part of the freemen. Like there might be a paladin in there. Who's yeah. Like I will free the peep. I will free the slaves of Kermaga. Uh, in the but, time you know they're very busy. Of adventure paths, freedom is just a young lad in Magnamar probably right now. <laughs> yeah. Before going to Kentarga. Uh, maybe. Yeah. yeah. If it's if this takes place before He's... Hell's Rebels. I think it does. Yeah. It might be kind of roughly around the same time, actually. Like, he might be in Kentargo right now, or, like, on his way. Because <clears throat> this takes place... Like, uh, I'm assuming that this takes place after, like, my homebrew game, which also takes place after, like, Rise of the Rune Lords and uh, basically all the other APs we've played. Right, but I think this takes place before Reign of Winter, and Hell's Rebels takes place after Reign of Winter. Hmm, okay. I don't... I, I don't know. I think they're... I kind of lost track of their timeline thing, but... <laughs> it's basically based on when they released. Like, they released in chronological order, basically. They try not to have all um... the shit happen during the same year, because that would be just, like, one shitty year, you know? So, <laughs> so instead, they're like, every year, it would be like a 2020. different villain's gonna take over Gloria. Like, they should have put on... They should have put them all in the same year. It would have been, like, 2020. Right. <laughs> At least give us practice with it. I don't... Yeah. All right. So you guys got any questions in the thoracic spire for uh, Khalifa? We don't have a token for. Her. What can she tell us about the dark forest? Uh, okay. So she says. She says not a whole lot. Uh, she gives you a lot of the same information August Steel gives you, but she says that there might be more information and. In, within the library and she says if you would like she can help you find uh see if they have any tomes about it within the library but it might take some time would you like me to help you with that i want i want to uh sense motive that sounds sure. like she might be like holding back a little information Maybe let's find out. Uh, you're not sure. She does seem kind of shifty, but... You're not sure if that's because she's holding back or if she's just an awkward person. Alright, well, I went through the trouble of asking for it, so sure. Okay. So she kind of, you know, 
has you uh, follow her into the library proper, um, which is kind of like more the main part of the the tower. And you can see that there's like this, you know, there's lots of shelves and they have kind of those, you know, rolling ladders kind of set up around there. Uh, you see there's also some like floors and such that you can't actually like get to, at least not in any traditional way that you can see. Uh, perhaps you're expected to fly up there. Or perhaps there's a secret door somewhere that you're not seeing that leads up to it. But um, she kind of moves around, um, pushes the ladder to spots, and she kind of... Uh, you know, she kind of is like, let's see. And, like, seems like she's kind of trying to recall something. And you see there's a few other, like, scholars kind of wearing these, like, red thoracic robes as well that are here. But they don't seem to pay you guys any mind. Um, but she, yeah, she pulls down some some old, really old kind of, um, like, leather-bound tomes. Look like they're kind of, like, cracked and kind of old. But, but uh, she pulls them down. Uh, brings them over to like a like a empty table basically it says i believe that there should be some old information in these in these thessalonian tomes do any of you read thessalonian indeed yes. then perhaps you'll find something useful in here then Okay. Yeah, I'll take a look with a uh, pillbow. Okay. Find any ex. All right. So it's gonna take. Uh, it'll take you quite a bit of reading. Um, like probably a few hours at least to find anything useful but you do find some stuff in here that you didn't already know um a lot of a lot of what you're reading about like has some information about like the dark rider kind of um being uh like kind of stalking the streets of karamaga at night sometimes or like grabbing people out of the adventure to the wrong parts of the undercity um but um this one also like it's an older book and it's like talking about like um and it mentions that uh that Karzog made a deal with the dark rider and that in some way he's like affiliated with him that uh Karzog empowered the uh realm of the dark rider and gave him like some extra like boons basically uh, in exchange the dark rider protects something for him uh and it just it in this book it doesn't know what it just says it's like a it you assume that it perhaps it's talking about the uh shard but it says it's a powerful artifact he stole from one of the other rune lords mm. it's all coming and together it, yeah So it says that, yeah, he put it in the, he charged him with it because uh, Karzog didn't think that he could trust any of the other servitors of the Asylum Stone with it. Like, the Dark Rider was the only one because his, because his motives were so, like, different from anyone else in Karamaga. Like, was he, yeah, he, uh... So yeah, and it says as well that like he employed the uh he employed the um some magisters from the uh planet Eox as well to help him with it. Hmm. Now that sounds Tobo. You can't uh you couldn't disguise yourself as Karzog, could you? I with some actually kind of magic. could. Because if this rider knows Karzog, and we've seen Karzog from the statue. Yeah, we've seen his like from this. the illusion in the Grand Hall of 
party illusion thing. We have a pretty good idea of what he looks like. I look like, uh, what's her face? Sorshin. Sorshin, yep. I, I wonder if we could convince him that we are actually the Rune Lord. It's a long well, shot. Well, I could actually... It, it it could be any one of us. It doesn't have to be just me. True. Okay. It's a long shot, look. but I, I wonder if that's worth trying. I like and where you're other, going with it. The other thought I had is if we could get a scroll of planar ally we could call upon our Coatl friend to help us if a fight breaks out. And we... I wouldn't know where to get that. Somewhere in the magic like market, probably. Yeah, it's, it's somewhat expensive, but that may be worth the investment because Coatl's seem... I, I know it's a good outsider creature. It seems like it would be very happy to fight an evil undead creature like this. Yeah. yeah. And it Keep may mind, have powers against it. Keep in mind Planner Ally has a 10 minute cast time, so you won't really be able to do it if combat breaks out. You'll have to do it like in, tis, in anticipation of combat breaking out. Yeah. Okay. But that's, that's the other thought I had. So those are kind of my two ideas that may keep us from dying to this Dark Rider guy. Well, if you want to go get one of those scrolls right now, now would be the time to do it, but it is very expensive. Yeah, Not completely I think, out of yeah. our price range, though. I think if we all chipped in, like, what, 400, 300, 400 gold, somewhere in that realm? Well, well I don't have that anymore. Okay, let's stop here. What, what, you're cons- what? Why do you want to buy this? Because you don't think we can- Scroll of this individual... Planar Ally to call our Quaddle friend that we freed. In the Just so room. that we have he gave a, us his feathers. an extra, you <laughs> he's know, a ally. Good, I don't. I think he's a good outsider creature, and we're going to yeah, fight a what, very powerful undead. What so makes you think like we can idea. handle it without him? Well, all the research and stories we've heard are like really scaring me. That he's a mm. very powerful undead creature that can't be killed, especially outside of his realm. Yeah, do you guys may wanna, not like, be able look to up... be killed in his realm. So that's oh, the other thing too. So boons. there's a couple other books you get as well, and you do find some information about the Dark Rider specifically. Uh, and some of these are in a little bit newer books too. Um, you find out that yeah, like he actually not only like he's he, he's known within Karamaga, but he's actually known in other places as well and by other names. Um, so the Dark Rider is known in like like in Ustalov, he's known as the Black Huntsman. Uh, the Orcs of Belkson, he's known as the Houndmaster. But in Varicia, he's known as the Dark Rider. Neat. Mm, I can't throw funds at something I don't think we need, honestly. Well, I'm going to be useless. And uh, we don't you guys know, know that. that he's... We don't really know what's going to happen to our future. We can just His legend we can do. is the Dark Rider appears hunting with a pack of shadowy hounds. Uh, no one knows what the criteria for it is, but usually what he, when he appears, he's, he'll be looking for a specific victim. And he'll relentlessly hunt down that victim. Uh, when he reaches them, he's said that he calls out their name, after which he slays his prey, sometimes adding them to his hunting pack. 
So yeah, let's bring some things terrifying. to deal with undead. Undead. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm what, sure what Bilbo can bring some spells to deal with undead. I can re-prepare spells, yes. No. Yeah. Um. Hannah hands umbrellas to smoke sticks, and they look a little bit different oh, thank you. than the ones you normally have. And she says, well, Ooh. I couldn't really think of anything right away, but I did think of these. And so you can try these and when it comes useful. Uh, and these are called scent bane incenses, which basically work like smoke sticks, but they also um, eliminate your scent so that... Uh, Things might not be able to follow you. Well, oh, guess, neat. There, I put it. Put It'll it protect me against things with scent. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's pretty good. That's like the Dark really Riders cool. Hounds. Yeah, maybe. So give me two you know what, those. Hannah? I tip my hat to you. See, now this is pretty, pretty bloody impressive. Yeah, you won't smell very good though. It's it's not the greatest scent. Just just don't get these mixed up in your house incenses. Well, I'd rather be smelly than dead. That's true. Cool. Oh, I so... added those to my inventory. So okay, uh, so the undead. We don't think it's uh, like a, a ghost incorporeal, right? Like it's just a. You don't think we so. don't think he's, so. He's described as being very, very like corporeal in 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 any of the descriptions that you read about him. Like, you don't get the impression. You think that there's like a small chance that maybe maybe he is some sort of like has some ability. Uh, to go ethereal perhaps but like it's you're, it's hard to tell like you think that like you think that a lot of that might just be dramatic flair like kind of describing him appearing and disappearing out of thin air but like part of that description makes you maybe a little worried that perhaps perhaps there there's some chance that he has like the ability to uh, yeah, I plane shift into the ethereal plane or something for that possibility. but that could just be him going in and out of you know the dark forest or something too or like like you said like i said could just be dramatic flair yeah i don't think we need to very few people have actually seen this thing and lived i think uh, i think i just need to bring the right things i have a couple of spells um what about well, Pillbo can change his spells. There's lots of spells he can probably get access to. Mm -hmm. um, Keep in mind that Pillbo is, you know, follows an evil deity, so he can't take good descriptor spells. Okay. Which is, you know, spells that are strong against undead are typically good. There's really yeah, not some of them, that yeah. many spells with the good descriptor. That's. No, there's not that many. There's yeah. tons of them that are still useful anyway. Yeah. But, uh... Alright, that's all useful information. Um, I'm actually out of cash. I, like, basically spent it all. I've got 118 gold to my name at the moment. But if you want to invest in that scroll, it's going to cost you 2,900 gold pieces. 2,900? What? Yeah. It's 1,650. Because the spell itself has a material component of 1,250 GP. But don't we get that for free from the feather? Correct. Or is that not what yeah, that you is? Yeah, you don't need... Right. You, because of the feather, you, you don't need the So it is offering. just 1,650. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this, the spell says offerings worth 1,250 plus payment. So assuming... But the, the feathers I, I don't cover know that. that yeah, I didn't know if the feather was just covering the payment or the twelve fifty and the payment. Um, so let's see. Quarrel is it? Okay, so you need uh, you need the full 
planar ally spell. You can't use lesser because it's uh, powerful yeah. enough. Um, yeah, you don't. You just get a. It covers both the payment and the offer. Like that's it's covering. Okay. That. You basically just you basically just need the the sixteen fifty for the scroll. Mm -hmm. You just need the, yeah. Which realistically, anyone who wrote the scroll would technically have had to include the money if as part of it or not? Maybe no. not. No, no, they okay. don't. Uh, planar ally is a little different. They you actually give the offering to the creature to the mm -hmm. person. Okay, but because you have okay, the feather so... showing that you know, like you'll as like yeah, it's only sixteen fifty gold. Favor, I like can a symbol cover like half of it. They're owing you a favor, basically. But I don't know if it, like if anyone else helped like I said, buy I'm out of cash. Yeah, I'm looking at uh, Silric and Popo if they want to <laughs> do this or not. Doesn't sound great. Mm -hmm. Okay. Maybe I was right about you after all. Starting to warm up to Pilbo and he's like, no, I don't want to summon a good outsider. But I'm not surprised. Very well. We'll we'll try our luck. Perhaps our we can try and trick the Dark Rider into do you that have we are actually a way to get in Bane onto Tar him? Karzog. Or I don't know. Undead. Increase your damage to undead. Uh, I don't a... think I do at this. Not yet, but you can eventually get a Magus Arcana that lets you do it. Yeah. It's one of the one of the better ones. I I took it on uh, Fingram. Yeah, well, especially with my build, with how many arrows I shoot, it would be very very yeah. powerful. All right. Well, but okay. I guess uh, we're let's get done researching. It. Um, did Pobo need to re-prepare spells the next day? Or did you have open slots enough to get some good stuff? I would not have had open slots. So we may not even want to go for a whole other day. I mean, we did spend a few hours researching. Is there other stuff we want to do here? And maybe we go tomorrow then? Good. And Callborn did out tell of character. you uh, they'll wait as long as it needs because, in their words, uh, Zavarax is timeless. Yeah. I basically need to prepare, reprepare like half my spell list. Yeah. Well, I mean, we haven't really done tomorrow. anything today that required any spells. You could just right, but he had already prepared his spells right in the morning. Like, if if we're playing by the rules, when you know, depending on when you do your spell preparation, he would have done it in the morning before we learned all this information. Right. So it's not realistic that he would have had like he didn't have his open slots or. Well, I I don't need to change my spells, so oh, but uh... I think we can probably just. Unless we have other stuff we're doing today, we can probably just fast forward to the next day. Yeah, I'm fine with that. Just for... Yeah. I mean, you guys realistic. have some downtime type of stuff you're working on at the moment. Like, I know uh, Hannah is reading uh, the book, the book from that I was am. written by Sorshin. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm working on my bow, making it a plus I'm also thinking three. about... Okay, That's why I don't have many things. Um... Yeah. So, I mean, you guys could do some downtime stuff uh, <clears throat> and just wait one more day if you want. Um, okay. One other thing I'll just mention as well, you guys find that the Dark Forest uh, might have other dangers besides just the the uh, Dark Rider. Like, it might have some other... There might be other things in there, too, um, that... Um, just keep that in mind. The oh, sure. realm yeah. itself has is seems from its description, it seems like the realm itself has kind of a strange uh agency 
um, of its own. And that uh, while about that. it, while the Dark Rider is known as like kind of the master of that realm, in some ways it seem it, it, there's times where it seems as though the uh, Dark Forest might actually be the master of the uh, of the Dark Rider instead. Okay. Yep. So yeah, Still... uh, we're resting for another day. Go ahead Not and prepare your spells, Pilbo. But yeah, we'll fast forward to next day, and yep. I should have like a full day of work pretty much done on my bow. So yeah, you guys get some. I think like you guys more days. Get another uh, rest. Uh, possibly, actually, you get a double rest, basically, because it's uh, basically a full day of not adventuring. Yeah. So. Oh yeah, and Hannah, if you get any more of those poisons, make sure you let me know. I'll be more oh. than happy to slap those onto my weapons. Poison right now? Yeah, we. Well, when you're ready, like I, I guess we can put it yeah, down. Yeah, heal for honestly. 18 hit points instead of instead of just nine for uh... this rest. Although All I right, think everyone's cool. pretty close to full health anyway. Let me look at what I got. Uh, uh that actually helps me. It puts me at full when I otherwise. I mean, Pilbo would have healed it, or uh... probably well, no, uh, yeah, Pilbo or Hannah could have healed. Well, Pilbo maybe not. But Hannah, Hannah would have probably been able to. But yeah, so, that actually yeah, got me. Probably I have a, that wand of cure light wounds still. Yeah, but we don't want to yeah. charges. Right. For... I'm not saying. I think you guys no. are gonna get full health now without using any uh, charges of. So. Okay. And oh yeah, so I realized the the upgrade for my bow is eight thousand, and because I have my uh, spike the, the porcupine helping me, then or hedgehog, then. It, of crafting. So I'm all right. Cool. If I get a full crafting in or whatever. Okay. So rinse, repeat. Go to the thoracic spire. Say we're ready okay. now. I don't think I personally have any spell changes really because I don't know that many spells yeah let's let's go let's test our metal but I do have heroism now okay um, I'm gonna put the poison I'm gonna put a poison on what weapon what weapon do you want I'll put that on my mithril weapons. short sword okay uh, I have a 5% chance to poison my foe Here's the net one. And then also, if you roll a one, you have a chance to poison yourself. Okay. We're fine. It's it's ready to go for you. Oh, neat. All right. It's well, let's Fast let's get Explorer to doing it. That we found earlier. I've got a. It's a low oh, nice. DC, but I want to get rid it's of a... it. So. Yeah, it's got yeah, an hour it's... of effective time. Its effect is also really good. Like staggers, uh, staggered is pretty pretty nice. Yeah, it it's takes like two saves. For... Yeah. Okay. Hi, thoracic people. We're back again for the third time in two days. <laughs> yeah, it's us. Uh, and actually, when you when you guys get back, you can see that like. Um... It looks like there's actually a little bit more people. It seems like, um, and Koya tells you, like, it's like since you guys got the others uh, out, uh, it's brought them back, uh, the survivors, um, we're doing sort of a limited reopening. But uh, we can kind of consider this, this issue resolved. But, of course, you're still welcome to continue with this, uh, this thing that the Colburn have. But we're washing our hands of it. Oh. Sure. But just make sure you keep this quiet. We don't want word of this getting out to the Dusk Wardens. You understand? This needs to be of remain course. very clandestine. All right. We won't track any mud in your spire, if you, if you know what I mean. I know what you mean. I don't know what you mean. 
Um, I have so yeah, my she, fingers crossed. She leads you down to the back. little. <laughs> <laughs> she leads you down to the little, uh, you know, their little secret door out in the basement there that leads into the undercity that they're not supposed to have, and uh, yeah, lets you guys go on your way and back into uh, back into the ancient Thessalonian uh, uh, laboratory that you guys were in before. All right, we head over to the Callborn. Okay. And yeah, Callborn are waiting for you. He's pretty much exactly where you left him. Hello. And uh, yeah, they they say like, you know, Zavarax extends its greetings. Are you ready to venture forth? I nod my head. I think so. I put my goggles on. But, um, is there anything more that we might, that we, did we ask much about this place that we're going to? Oh yeah, we did. We did okay. Yeah? We know a lot about it now. I mean, we did the research. We didn't ask we them the... much, but yeah, yeah, you guys, um, you guys have gotten yeah, a lot of information now. Yeah. Oh, did you uh, ask the call board? Yeah. Yeah, what well, we like asked them, like, what? What dangers are there besides the yeah. Dark Rider? Like, what tells of the like... realm and it's evil? Uh, okay. Well, they tell you, uh, the travel into the realm will probably attract the attention of strange otherworldly creatures. You should be prepared. Horrors from beyond space and time. I'll have my weapon out then. That is terrifying. Uh, and then they they say, beyond that, we're not entirely sure. We are forbidden from entering this realm, so long as the artifact holds its power. Mm, what artifact might that be? The ancient Thessalonian artifact that the Rune Lord hid away within it, within that yep, realm. That's what we're looking for. It's bound to the realm. Mm -hmm. And while it's bound there, we cannot enter. But we can help I you see. enter. Uh, uh, do you know what kind can of you help creatures us in any other way? find in there? Like, dead, undead... Mm, strange otherworldly creatures. Oh, Denizens of the first world, perhaps. Do you know if they have weaknesses or strengths? Immunities? No, we've never been there. Okay. <sighs> Is there any protection or item or aid you can give that will help keep us safe? Stop we can keep the portal open if you need to retreat. Yeah, but again, that. retreating will through this through back through the portal will be very painful. I mean, we'll have to come back at some point, anyways, right? Well, you we're not going to stay there forever. Back. Yes. Don't worry. I'll keep you safe. Sirek will keep you safe. Pilbo will keep you safe. You can trust us. We trust each other. That's right, Hannah will not keep you safe. I, I'm glad I was not included in that. I'm <laughs> going to cast False Life on myself with the Wand of False Life. You're Mark. becoming more and more of a naughty munchkin whenever like, I happen to look over my back at you. I'm just going to go already. <laughs> Let's go. All right. Let's see. False if, Life, what is this? Situation? If you're ready, then we will open the portal. If if we pass by a purple worm, we are fighting it, okay? Because I want that poison. <laughs> I say a little right. purple worm? Sure. Whatever, I'll pick it out of the ground for you. No, it's not little. <laughs> it's not little. The Callborn <laughs> touch the the uh black men here and they begin uh they begin kinda like stroking it and there's like a weird kind of like hum that you can hear in the air. And, uh, or not in the air, more like in your head, like it's a telepathic kind of hum going out. But, uh, as they do it, the pillar begins to glow blue, 
and a voice in your head from them they they tell you uh that uh you may touch the stone now to enter but only do so if you are ready for the dangers that await you as we said travel through this might attract otherworldly beings I just realized false life is not useless, so I have to like UMD this wand. Gross. Mm -hmm. uh, All right. I'm well, trying to figure out how to get do on that. it. You uh -huh. roll a skill check. Right, look to the funny. other. <laughs> uh, oh boy, it's not gonna work then. You can I'll check the door, but one. I'm assuming you guys are gonna come hey, and follow got me. It. <laughs> so you have a rank in UMD, right? Uh, yeah, you no. Trained okay, you can't actually use it in that yeah. case, then. It's All not right. something you can do on train. He's, like, shaking the wall. So no around. false light. How does this work? Okay, okay. How does this work? I can't figure I it out. I should have done that on my level up. Oh, well. Well, I mean, do you... Why don't you just put a point in there right now? And yeah, this is the first, a point into you it. know, it's fine. session of it. Yeah, I don't I mean, doing that. if you're okay with that, sure, I'll do that. Yeah. And we haven't done anything. And we'll keep that, I'll keep like, that roll. To, solidify... Anything, I guess. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but actually, this is like the first thing you've rolled on this character, so like, uh, as far as I'm concerned, that level up hasn't happened yet. Okay. Assuming that you guys are going to follow her, Abrella, so yes, steps we'll follow roll. you. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I, um, I put Mage Armor on Silric and myself. Okay, I'll pull you guys on to another map. Just give me one second. I, gotta and while we travel... I took off the rank of Dungeoneering. Okay. Uh, Ron, you had a question? Uh, never mind. I answered it myself. Okay. I got nine of these? Oh my god, why did she... The question was, can I have 20,000 gold? He answered it himself with yes. Um, so while we're traveling, <laughs> I'm going to carry a flask of alchemist fire in my hand. Ooh, okay, you guys see that handout? I see, handout? That, I see that is what you a see. picture. That is what you see ahead of you. Um, I also got some flavor text I'm going to read for you guys in here in a minute. Just want to get everybody's tokens How's on this standing? map. Yeah, how indeed. Like, it doesn't look like it should be able to. Um, Must be magics. Yep, the world has changed. While the nearby presence of a black stone men here, similar in shape, although more weathered and lean to one side, to the one that you touched in the previous room, provides a sense of familiarity. Uh, everything else about this place is different from the dungeon rooms. The world appears like nothing so much as a rough spherical bubble of stone measuring miles across. Above the vault of the ceiling glows softly. Uh, sorry, above. The vault of the ceiling glows softly, casting the whole realm into an eerie kind of twilight. The lower hemisphere is an, is an enormous bowl-shaped basin, its so sides wooded with green fir trees and gnarled uh, naked snags. Thick fog blankets the realm, and the entire place seems leached of color, tending towards grays and blacks. Closer at hand looms a strange structure, which is what you see in that picture. Uh, this towering black keep rises up into the air, each new wing resting upon nothingness and creating a strange stepped structure of towers and domed roofs that carries with its facade an almost palpable sense of menace. Uh -huh. Neat. Um. All right. What would you guys like to do? Um... Leroy Jenkins. No, I'm gonna wait for my frontliners to frontline. Well, and... if this is a thing that sticks out in front of me, then yeah, I'm gonna take point and well, we're at the move forward. forward. However, as you as you start getting ready to move forward, something happens. <gasps> All right. Oh my gosh. Uh, it's right on. I yeah. So something. Uh, this nauseating carpet of wriggling white grubs undulates outward in a pallid wave of hunger. So these kind of appear are right around the, uh, like from basically from the 
uh, men here, almost like they followed you. Oh no. Cool. Is that a swarm? Uh, there. It is indeed a very obvious swarm. And everybody, <laughs> uh, before you roll, let me clear the tracker. Okay, go ahead and roll initiative. Uh, we can't talk to them. Oh, God. <laughs> they they don't look <laughs> like they're able to talk no. I hit it twice. And I didn't. Sleep. You know, I thought about buying a swarm bane scarab thingy. No, oh, you didn't. Well, Silric still has the one I gave him, so Silric can punch is it. Or... I believe Silric is still wearing that one too. I could be wrong. Uh, I don't. Um... He might be wearing the Mighty Fist amulet. It's possible I prepared Fireball. No, I didn't. <laughs> I took it off for heroism. Dang it. Um, I'm pretty sure my health is fat, so. Um, yeah, your health should be hmm. full. If I were an ability that could affect swarms, what would I be? Yeah, I got nothing. Yeah, you, you just let me take care of it. Okay. Uh, looks like everybody's uh, on I the tracker. Abrella, so you can go first. So, yeah, you see this swarm of... Uh, they look sort of like worms, maybe, or something. Will knowledge, engineering, or local give me any information about them? Um, no. Okay. I'm going to move back. Okay. And I'm going to throw a bomb into that square. All right. All right, everybody. I'll try torching them. That'll hit, and it is a uh, bomb, so it does AoE damage. Uh, so you're going to do some extra damage to this thing. Um, it seems like the fire uh, affects it fully, too. It doesn't seem like it resists or anything. That's my turn. Okay. Let's start this off with a bang. All right, Silric. So, Silric, do you know, are you wearing the Swarmbane amulet, or are you wearing the Mighty Fist? Do you remember? I'm wearing the, um, the amulet. Which one, though? The Mighty the... Fist. Mighty Fist? Okay, so you're probably not going to be able to punch these things, then. You can switch the items out. It'll just take an action. Yeah. Uh, you... Yeah, I You'll take, basically, your full turn, because yeah, you'll have to pull so out... Yeah, you'll have to pull out the other amulet out of your bag or wherever you're storing it, and, like, and then, like, put it on while taking the other one off. So it's basically going to take your full turn, but that's something you could do. You could swap from the Mighty Fist amulet to the uh, Swarm, Blaine, Swarm Bane class. Yeah, I'm going to switch to Swarm Bane, otherwise there's nothing okay. I can do anyways. Yeah, so that'll be that'll be Sorek's turn then. Um, Jace. Now's not the time to be worrying about jewelry, Jace. Uh... <laughs> I am going to take a five-foot step back here. Okay. And I say spread out. Um, I will use a move action to pull out a wand of lightning bolt. And then mm, okay. I will try and lightning bolt them. See, I gave it to him, and now yeah. that's all he uses. <laughs> you well, got a good line at least right he's using it. <laughs> yeah. I mean... This is the good. Again, this is the right spot. For this is the right spot. Yes. You're running and out of charges. Base, though. Cool. <laughs> it only has two charges left. Now it yeah, has one. Yeah, that's sad. It was charges well used. So. It wasn't a very big wand. <laughs> let's see. It's a caster level five. So that means the DC is. It, well, the it caster level doesn't matter. It's right. the spell level. Uh, I think fourteen is the. 
is the DC. Yeah, 14 is the so DC. So I think, I think it failed it by one. So it's going to take full damage. Wow, yeah. third level spell. Correct. So it's a DC 13, right, but then? then it's additional plus one because you have to have at least 13 intelligence. So it uses the bare minimum I uh, see. intelligence requirement, but yes. the bare minimum okay. intelligence requirement is still a plus one. So. Yay! It does AOE, right? Sure yeah, does. It does. Go ahead and roll your okay. uh, 5d6 or whatever it does. I believe it's 5d6. And then make it a 27, I think. Yeah. Uh... Yeah, that's correct. Sweet. Okay. The swarm is still there, but yeah, it looks like it's you've done quite a number on it. Uh it's going to go right here. So All right, I need first off it's going to do some damage. Does 8 damage to Pilbo and Hannah. And I need uh, both of you guys to roll. Uh, first off, I need you to roll a uh, fortitude save versus its distraction, and a uh -oh. reflex save versus its other ability. Uh oh. Oh, I forgot to knowledge this thing, didn't I? No, oh, yeah. Okay, I'm distracted, Bill. Hey, boom. look at that! God damn, what a beast! All right, but Hannah failed both saves here. So... Yeah. Hannah, you take three constitution damage as these as these uh, creatures start burrowing into your skin. Ew! Start to oh, they're these flesh. things. I know what these are. <laughs> and you're also nauseated for one round. Yeah, these were kind of iconic. Um, all right, Hannah, so you're nauseated, but it's your turn. Well, I was gonna burn any hands, but no, I'm not. I'm gonna move. Yeah, you're probably away just gonna move, yeah. And, like, puke a little. Okay. And you move out, but you think, you think there's still, uh, yeah. Uh, rock, like, you still think these things are burrowing into your, uh, into your skin. Yeah, I'm, like, freaking you might out, like, do... trying to pluck them out and stuff. Yeah, you might have to you might have to like burn them off you or something. Uh oh. Alright, uh Pilbo, you saved burst both effects, so nothing happened to you except for the damage. And it's your turn. Alright, um I have nothing to do against the swarm. I'm just going to uh Skedaddle. <laughs> Alright. Ah, run away. I mean, you could channel negative energy to hurt them. It's yeah. true. It would hurt you guys too, but... Alright, Umbrellas. Might be worth it. Me? It's pretty nasty. Okay. Do I use my last bomb? It's a good question. There's a chance that Silverick and Jace could finish him off. Even if you don't, they do look like they've taken a lot of damage. I'm gonna hold my action um, until after Jace. There we go. Okay. Yeah, because Silver did put the, that works. Uh, scarab bean. The swarm bane, yeah. Swarm bane, yeah. Or the, yeah, swarm bane clasp. Okay. Uh, so I'll put you at 17 initiative here. Uh, Silric, it's your turn. You have the swarm bane amulet on. Yeah. So I'll move up and I will attack them. Do I Oops, just do punch another them. strike for that? Do a whole flurry, <laughs> yeah. yeah. I think the number is going to be slightly off because it'll include the, unless you edited it, edited the uh, fields, but we'll just what is what type of uh, Mighty Fist amulet does Silver have? It's just plus one? Yeah. I think it's just a plus one. Okay, so we'll just subtract one from these rolls and that'll you can otherwise just go ahead and roll them. Okay. Uh, so let's see here. 22... Oh, did you guys adjust power tech? Adjust this level too? Does that need to be changed? I don't know if you guys did or not. Mm, that should have been last level because yeah. we're level nine now. It's okay, so yeah, we're good then. Yeah. I don't know. We if should I probably be good then. Though. Oh well, that's something to investigate later then. I guess we'll just go with these uh, numbers for now. I'll, um. I'll 
So that'll hit. Um, and second attack will hit as well. Unfortunately, the yeah, 19 is not enough, but it looks like this thing is almost, almost down. The swarm looks like it's starting to kind of fall apart. Um, Jace, you're up. Um, okay. I was really counting on that one working. I can't see where Pilbo is. Do I know what square pill is in, so I know where to aim with the lightning bolt rod? Pillbo is, like, way up above you to the north. Oh, oh, he was off my screen. Okay, I thought he was under the swarm. Okay. No. He he pieced Somehow okay. I was, I, I somehow I was smart, bolt. and I put the swarm to the back without even thinking about uh, it. I did a good job. Yeah, I'll, I'll lightning bolt this thing. I deserve, Zap. like, a little star or something. This is, yeah, you do. <laughs> uh, this is the last charge of the wand, so it's gone now. Dang. Well, make it a good one. Yeah. Well, it needs to roll a save, uh, right? Reflex save? Uh, yeah, yeah. It does, technically, but you can still roll the damage. True. It made the save. But it definitely saves. It's going to take 75% of whatever you roll. But I rolled oh, really roll. high. <laughs> yeah, it's it's dead. Yes. Yay! Uh, we're not quite out of rounds yet, though, because... Yeah, I turn. go and check up on Hannah. Oh. Well, you can go, I guess... Visit. Yeah, you can go before that happens. Yeah, we're I'm gonna go see, Hannah. Hannah see what's wrong with her. Yeah, she's still... And you bugs. can see that she's still got, like, the these bugs on her that are, like, burrowed, uh, kind of just below her skin. Some of them are, you can still see on the outside, but yeah, she's got bugs oh, on shit. her. Oh, the... shit. Like, well, I put out a dagger, and I'm like, I gotta heal check you, Hannah, don't move. Oh god. Uh, close my eyes. Um also does somebody wanna oh, roll yeah. knowledge? You, like, slice um, my arm off. Somebody roll a roll a knowledge check for Jesus. knowledge uh knowledge nature Watch or bro, knowledge that's... planar. That's like a major artery right there. What the fuck? Uh let's yeah. see if I have that. I assume I do. Stop thinking about it, Hannah. Uh, You're just gonna push more oh, circulation so to the arm. No, very much. Oh uh, yeah, that's that's a rough roll. Okay, mm, uh, Pilbo, you know that you know that these things are called rot grubs, and um, the way that you can deal with these if you have an infestation of them on you is any uh, anything that deals at least five points of energy damage, um, like energy based attack, including damage from negative energy, uh, will automatically destroy all the rot grubs infesting it. Okay. Um, so Hannah's gonna take four more Constitution damage. Ouch. But yeah, you mm -hmm. think that if you even hit her with like a uh, like channel, an inflict, an inflict light wounds or a channel, that would do it. Uh, alternatively, Hannah, you might have a spell that can do something about it too. Well, I don't know if I have this information. Like, if I know this. What we tell you? That I need to what? Hit myself with energy. Uh, hit it with any energy, energy based work? attack. Uh, no, positive energy will heal them. Okay. So yeah, any These are technically living creatures. Damage They're or vermin. any negative energy damage that's like over five will just kill them all. So you need to yeah. hit yourself. You gotta hit yourself with some uh, some five energy damage. Kill it with fire. Can I do that? Can I burn it with fire? Sure. Yeah, it'll hit yourself, though. That's kind of the downside on it, but you could undercast it and hit yourself. Yeah, that's the first. problem with me channeling, too. You could turn... Um, you can cast a level 1 spell and spontaneously convert it into an Inflict Light Wounds, and that'll just take care of it. That is a good call. Unless you... I mean, if you roll an 8. No, it'll happen automatically because it does 1d8 plus... Oh, I mean, yeah, it'll suck if you roll an 8. Yeah, I guess, if you but... roll an 8, it's gonna hurt. A lot, but yeah, it, it will take care of the problem. Oh, you I can cast it with cure light wounds. No, it no. has to be inflict. Pilbo's inflict. Oh well, I can't do that. But Pilbo has inflict. To do that, yeah. Correct. Right. 
Otherwise, you can just let or it run its course you, and hope that you don't die. You can, like, you, try it, burning it, hands yourself. Do I get a save or no? No saves on this round? Nope. It just does con damage for a set amount of rounds after you leave the swarm. Yeah. Um... Yeah, I don't, I don't have any way Also, to a do spell that it. removes disease is what end it, too. So if you have, like, remove disease or a potion of remove disease. Oh, that's a good point. Do I have a potion? I don't think I do. Or a wand? Mm. I have stone self. I can stone self myself. No, I can't, actually. I mean, I can channel negative energy on you. Okay, let's yeah, just good. do that. Convert it in flicks. Yeah, just convert um, a level um, one spell. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's fine. I don't use my level one spells anyway. Yeah. Yeah, just pick whatever one you think you're least likely to cast. Can he undercast that to be fourth caster level? Sure can. That would be ideal. We need a minimum of four plus one. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, you need five, so if he does it at castle, if he casts the inflict spell, I mean, at if you killed Risky, you could undercast it at like first caster level. I wouldn't do that. <laughs> Just hope that you roll enough. Just hope you roll a four or higher. So, is that what you're doing? Go ahead and roll a d8 plus uh, four or whatever, or five if you're not going to undercast it. Feeling, feeling mean spirited. I need at least eight damage, though, right? No, I oh. need at least five yep. damage. Five. Five damage. Oh. Okay, there you go. So Hannah takes six damage, yeah. but... Uh, it's better now with these but things the, in The here. negative energy yeah, coursing the, through your body also, yeah, like, it inflicts it kills the, the wounds upon the rot grubs. It kills the rot grubs, too, yeah. Mm -hmm. And they, they also, they, they start, like, kind of falling off. Alright, I'm gonna convert a What's spell your now HP at? to heal myself. Pretty low, because you took like seven. You took seven points of seven damage? constitution damage. Yeah. Oh, shit, that wasn't good. So what? What's that? We're ninth level, so. <laughs> so she's down to thirty-eight max hit points. No big deal, though. Yeah, it's fine. But yeah, after Random that, the... Random rock grubs. Mm hmm You think that, uh... Well, Pilbo... Pilbo thinks that they might have been, uh... Attracted through the extra plane or travel you guys did through the portal. What a weird thing to get to be attracted. Um, have we... We already left, or did... Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we're here now. We're here. We're, yeah. we're in front of this weird... Castle thing, yeah. Oh. It's like, do you me. have? I gotta uh, go shopping and then come back. No. I was gonna say, do you have diamond dust, or do, I, do we have diamond dust, or wand of lesser mm. restoration? Because I don't. You think don't need I diamond dust for lesser restoration. We oh, for you don't need diamond dust for lesser. Diamond. Yeah, lesser. Pobo can just... help her. You said you have a I wand of lesser restoration. Yeah. Oh, take charges on that wand. Yeah, there you go. You yeah. Use some sure. of those then. Get rid of at least a little bit of that. A little bit, yeah. Because I have seven. I mean, I'd use it right least. Depending on how good your D4s are. There you go. Six is good. There you go. I think that was like yeah. the best we could have hoped for, anyway. Oh yeah. yeah that's Thank you so much. All right. So now you're only at one damage. So yeah. Effect and yep. unless you take more. Nice. All right, Yay. go ahead. I like Everyone, roll me a perception check as well. What you guys are doing? Oh this. man, oh. let me tell you about Abrellas' perception. <laughs> <laughs> it is stupid high. Silrex is pretty good pie. too. Plus fifteen. What, what's yours? Is going to be better, right? Uh, oh, oh yeah. <laughs> Mine's plus fifteen. Also plus fifteen on Jace. It's pretty good. Uh, yeah, plus twenty eight. <laughs> It's pretty good. Uh, I'm distracted. I still think there's bugs in my skin. I'm weirded out. Yeah, understandably. Um, while you guys are and Pillbo's using the wand, so I guess that works out. Like the people that aren't 
actively dealing with the rock grub situation. You guys notice, um, you just notice on like the top, the topmost tower, uh, closest to this uh, front entrance. You guys are at actually. Um, you you see like some movement, like you see something uh fly into like kind of and looks like it like kind of lands maybe on top of or into the tower. Uh, like it looks like a um, like something that like a pretty large creature kind of flew in from the back of it. What the heck is that? And it looked like it had something with wings. Like you, you see some, you saw like what? some flapping wings, that. kind of. And uh, yeah, Brellis, Jace, and Silric all see this. Hmm. Abrellis, your perception is actually good enough that you think you, you think that you, you probably see a little bit, uh, a little bit better of what it, of what, what it was. Um, you think that it had kind of, um, you think that it looked sort of like a dragon, maybe, or maybe something related to a oh, dragon. No. What the fuck? It, it had kind of the... Wait, Abrellis, yeah, was it, it as big as a dragon? Or did was it like a small, like fairy dragon? I mean, how big did it look? Uh, it looked like it was probably bigger than a person, but it wasn't, like, gigantic. I describe it as medium-sized. Okay. But yeah. Well, I, I don't kinda have look at much the choice tower. to go on. If you're looking at the tower a little bit longer, you don't see anything, any other further evidence of it. You don't see anything like fly out of it, back out of it or anything. Okay, good. Well, I mean, if if you guys did see something, then that sucks because I'm worried about what else is on the floor. And now we got things in the sky. Should we get to the door? I'll just keep my eyes open. At least get to cover. Yeah, what do well, you guys want to do? let's get inside of that place. Alright. I'm gonna go forward. I'm gonna keep my wits about me. And I'm gonna go up to what looks like a door, I think. These are. These are ten foot tall arched double doors made of thick slabs of black iron. Oh my. Big, big doors. Oh, you know it's weird? My perception actually isn't 20... whatever the hell it was. Like, roll 20 sheets, getting all buggy. Three, I don't know what it was three. doing. But it's still pretty high. Yeah. <laughs> Um, but, yeah, okay. I'll check the doors. Let's see if they're trapped or anything. Oh, look at that. A natural 20. You're pretty sure that the uh, doors are not trapped. Um, Alright. I'll try to open them carefully. Let me just double check to make sure they're not locked. They definitely aren't trapped. I don't think they're locked either. Okay. Pluto, I I'm curious if I look up, do I see a sky? Because I know you described it as like hemispheres. Is it just like blank, or what does this up look like? Oops, wrong bouton. Uh, I think I did describe that. It has a yeah, there's like a glow to it. Um, and you think you see like little motes kind of glowing in there, but yeah, you definitely can see that there's like uh, a solid surface. 
uh, yeah, okay. dome, like a solid dome encompassing this place. It's like a mile yeah, up. Seems like it's not, but super huge. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, a mile is very big for a, a cavern, but yeah, it's it's definitely not an empty sky up ahead or up above. Okay. I used the hide tool instead of the reveal tool. That was really clever of me. All right. What is it? What? Excuse me. There we go. Okay. Um, so this room. Uh, this enormous rectangular hall has a 30-foot high ceiling, taking up the entirety of the long northern and southern walls. Uh, oh, wait. <laughs> the ceiling is the entire room. Taking up the entirety of the northern and southern walls are identical bas-relief sculptures of a headless knight riding a horse whose eyes and nostril trails uh, uh, trails uh, gouts of flame. Uh, in alcoves at each of the room's four corners stand imposing suits of black armor. Both the northern and southern walls hold doors. And at the room's eastern end is taken up by a sweeping marble staircase leading up to an open landing and a story above. And there's also something you see flying kind of hovering at the top of these stairs. Uh-oh. It's the it thing. It's the dragon. Open it. it is not a dragon. Man, there's statues in here, too. All that's missing is a bow at. A nightmare. What's the, what's the button I used to... Is it Q or what? The, to make it pop up for you guys? To make the token bigger pop up for you guys? There's a button that does that. I don't remember what it was. I don't know. Smash your face on keyboard. <laughs> Alright, whatever. I don't remember. Ah. I can just make the token bigger. We, we can just uh, scroll in. You just drag it out, yeah. yeah. Alright. Um, it kind of looks like Oh, jeez. Put some clothes on. Huh. Uh-oh. No legs, huh? No legs, yeah. So you see this thing hovering, a uh, disembodied female torso flapping through the air on bat-like wings, fanged face, a hateful mask. Um, so she's at the top of the stairs here. And uh, she addresses you as you open the door. She says, Did you really think the Master wouldn't notice your arrival? This is his realm, children. Nothing passes here without his notice. We know why you're here, too. Oh, yes. But fear not, all will be forgiven in time. Now come give Mother a kiss. And everyone can roll initiative. Oh, right. boy. Bears are fangs at you. Yeah, I I thought about trying to play the Sorshin card, but then it's like, well, wait, they'll still probably be hostile if they think I'm Sorshin anyways. Although maybe they won't think they can beat me. It's okay. Roll initiative is what I do. Alright, I'm gonna roll some oh, initiative shit. as well. I was ready for that. I guess. Oh man, Hannah got a natural 20. Oh, she beat me by dogs, two. I don't blame her for being I jumpy. I guess I better be ready. What do I want to do? <laughs> um, I know what I have on my hand, so I know what I can try. Oh, okay, these things have terrible initiative. So, oh man, I think I can do this. Something else happens as well. Uh, out of the two, two of the suits of armor, uh, standing on the who side could have of the guessed? On, some oh man, very ominous fog comes out with a very uh has a very like almost intelligent look in uh, movement to it. Like it's it's moving against uh. And floating around in ways that are not natural. Who said fog cutting lenses? Dang. No, I don't think it's that kind of fog. I think that's like a creature fog. That is a thing, so, yeah. I mean, I know did, what those did are. Did you just cast yeah. a spell? 
No, um, these these were creatures that were hiding in the suits okay. of armor, and they popped out. Surprise! Uh, so everybody's on here. Yep, looks like everybody's on here. Uh, descending order, round one. I can't actually right, see Hannah. what's going on in there. Well, this is like the perfect time to do this, I suppose. Um, so I have my alchemist fire in my hand, and I'm going to use this as a material component for a flaming sphere, which means that any creature damaged by the flaming sphere catches on fire as if it was struck by the alchemist fire. So Okay, seems good. Yeah, and then I'm going to also um, amplify my spell. So I brought more reservoir points as my feet so I can do more cool shit. Uh, so I'm gonna oh, what's Hannah doing? Boost, boost the DC by two. Um, which is going to make the spell currently um, DC 19. And I'm going to put it on... Let's just start... Oh, yeah. Are they really that big? I'll put it in... Yes, yeah. they are really that big. Um, if you would like to roll a knowledge on these, it's knowledge engineering. Uh, I do have that, so I'll, I'll go for that as well. Okay. Okay, you know that these are hungry fogs. They technically are oozes. Yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> but... They're vulnerable to wind because they're a fog, basically. I was like, when you um, said fog, they also I was have like, negative energy. But I was like, I don't think I can inhale these, <laughs> though, because I have that spell. Wait, wait yeah. can I inhale so, fog? Let me see. I don't recommend it, but... Ah, whoa! Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, if you get close to it, you have a chance of potentially being... Uh, shaken by their fear effect. They also can uh, stagger things that they envelop. Um, and that's kind of what they tend to do. They'll tend to move in and try to envelop people. And then um, yeah. when they do, it does negative energy. They are negatively aligned. So um, if you do positive energy to them, it damages them. Uh, they do have damage reduction. You need magic to affect them. They're immune to acid and electricity and sonic. And they have ooze traits and they resist cold. But fire does work on them. So Cool. Good choice on that. I was I was and throwing then... before I thought, but I, I did stop and think. <laughs> yeah. It... <laughs> so it gets a reflex save versus your uh, flaming sphere. Um, yeah, I don't know if they have their spell reflex is not very good. They do not have spell resistance. These hungry fogs have a face like hey, hey, like they're smiling and really happy, and like the little hey, skeleton hey, hey. inside of them. Can you see him? <laughs> yeah. He's like, hey, it's yeah. fun in here. Come get engulfed. <laughs> yeah, I mean skeletons do have fun in there. Like they're taking negative energy. They're having a grand old time. Uh, okay. It fails its reflex save. Okay, yay! So there's so that it's damage. Gonna take and not then... a very good roll, but it's also engulfed, right? Um, or it's on fire, rather. Right. It's just one round. They'll take 1d6 damage on the next round. Yeah. Okay. So a little bit extra damage. Yeah, damage is damage. Okay. Um. Anything else? No, I'll stay out here. <laughs> Wait. Was there anything flying around outside? Was that something else? Not the saw? moment. Oh. Somebody saw something fly into the tower. That's the I'll tower is to the south yeah. of this down here. But uh, yeah, <laughs> See, you machine. haven't seen any sight of it yet I since then. I could technically move. But it is something to I'll think about. I'll move um, uh, against the wall over here. Okay. And there's like a stained glass window right here. You can't really see through it entirely, but like cool. you can see some light. You can see the light from your fire kind of glowing through the through the stained glass. All right, Abrellas. Okay, so um, could I fire through this fog? Is it like providing cover or whatever? 
I think technically it is. Um. Yeah, I believe it's kind of weird because it's a gas, basically, right? Well, so... yeah, but it's yeah. a physical, like it's a ooze, like it's. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, it technically it technically is. Uh, it could form to like make a block, like when you get there, it'd be like nope, nope. Like close right. Well, I mean, yeah, it something. is. It yeah. is physically there. Like, yeah. So I think if you tried to throw the bomb, like even if you can see through it, uh, it could it could end up getting blocked by the uh, by the like ooze <laughs> by the cloud. Okay. Um, from the description of the room, is there was there any kind of like like uh, like second floor or like balcony in this room, or is it all just open? like a big foyer so there is there is it's where she's floating these there's like these stairs here that lead up to another mm -hmm. level but otherwise no um there aren't any it, this is a very tall room but you don't see any like balconies or anything okay just like a grand a grand hall kind of and i'm guessing that i can't run through these things uh no you can actually but it's just dangerous this is probably right worse. Man, uh, oh, I really wanted to charge her. Umbrellas, if you wait, I guess it's not my turn for a while, but... Well, this is a dangerous situation. I don't want to, like, go in on this by myself. Well, if you're still here on my turn, I might be able to assist you. I like the sound of that. Um, I'll hold my action for now. Intimidate it. <laughs> Wait, you might not be close enough. Uh. <laughs> okay. They all uh, I'm assuming Silric put the uh, Mighty Fist amulet back on, right? Yeah. Before he moved on? <clears throat> yes. Okay. Uh, it's your turn. I'm just going to move up closer for now. That is my turn. Okay. Okay, this first fog. Uh, it is going to begin moving forward. Let's see here. That's as far as it gets. It does a double move. Woohoo! It's a slow right, moving bell. fog. Unless uh, Brellis would like to take a turn now. I think he, he delayed, so... Not yet. Oh. Um, what did oh, Hannah get out of the knowledge? I wasn't yeah. here for it. Uh, so these things are, um, they have negative energy affinity, so they get healed by negative energy, but take damage from positive energy. Yeah. Um, they, they do negative energy damage as well. Um, but they also, they can try to, they'll try to envelop you as well. And if they do that, they can, they can kind of restrict what you can do. Um. Wait, are they weak to positive energy or? Yes. Well, oh. they just take full damage from it oh, okay. but well, it's not like they take like not weakness. extra damage they are immune to acid electricity and sonic effects and they resist cold and they also have damage or dis resistance you can use magic weapons to deal damage to them um but yeah fire fire works just fine on them as well fire. Uh, and they're also vulnerable to wind right. effects even though they're huge they're treated as tiny creatures if you hit them with wind effects <laughs> Long. So would spiritual weapon be okay? Yeah, it's magic. It does All magic right. damage? I'm going to use my wand of spiritual weapon. Okay. Um, spiritual weapon. Does that just go off right away? Yeah, looks like it does. Okay, so you get one attack right away, I believe. And it misses his first attack, but... 
Oh, that's a damage, not a freaking attack roll. Oh. <laughs> Fair enough. Her, her. Go ahead and roll an attack roll. Who are you attacking, by the way? Uh, the closest one. Okay. Mm. I think we just... What did we decide it was last time? It was just my... Caster level? Is that the Well, it's from level? a wand. Um, or is so it just it's... Plus... It was plus one, plus something else. I believe your attack... Let's see... Base attack bonus plus wisdom modifier. Yeah, I think I think you just get to use your own base attack bonus plus wisdom modifier. Like it's oh, okay, um, that's actually really nice then. It's just the damage. Yeah, it's just the damage is scaled off the wand, but the actual attack is scaled off of the caster. Um, I don't know. I could be wrong on that. I can't remember how we ruled it last time. But yeah, so that'll hit, and it'll do that three damage. Okay. All right, uh, Jace. Unless Pilbo wanted to move somewhere, actually. Pilbo, you no. or you had to pull the wand out, actually. So that probably was. Yeah, I pulled the wand pulled. out. Yeah. Okay. So Jace. Um. If I ask Hannah, can can I hit these with, like the spooky ghost fog with? my bow with arrows or will it just go through them and not harm them oh uh, yeah you can hit them okay i'm going to do that do they have dr past yeah dr 10 magic yeah yeah i guess i didn't necessarily have to tell you the number but yeah you just yeah. need magic to get through the dr yeah and i know he does so magic, it's gonna so... be pretty easy yeah okay i'm gonna arcane pool point for swift action to enhance my weapon, and I'm going to full round this one in front here, assuming that door is open. I think it is. Yeah. And I'll cast Heroism with Spell Combat for any of my attacks. Sure. You have Heroism now for 90 minutes. Which, if I was good, oh, I did. I made a buff for it. Beautiful. Okay. The enhancement thing. And why not? I'll click my boots of haste. So let me just mark that off real quick before I forget. Nine rounds left. And here comes the attack. Uh... Which one of these is the right button? And as an answer, that's something only you can I know. I think this this one is right. And I take off the spell combat. There we go. How'd that go? Oh, man, that is hard to read because the text is like overlapping on top of other text. The hell? Okay, yeah, go. that must be a bug they just introduced. Yeah, if, if I just widen my chat roll. menu. Uh, there's no spell right. damage because I did heroism. But yeah, and then <laughs> the last one is the ignored. mini shot arrow. Uh, okay, I, I made yeah. it minus 50, so you would know that it can't <laughs> That's possibly pretty be funny. legit. Uh, yeah, I like that because that makes it so that the arrow doesn't get multiplied on the crit, which is the correct way to do it. Unfortunately, these are immune to crits. Um, Oh, but, but still, I, I hit it with some arrows, I think, right? Yeah, you hit with all the arrows. Uh, oh, yeah. perfect. Every every single one of those arrows hits. So let's see. Okay. That's 15. Let's see if you kill this thing out, out right here. That's 15. Uh, 65. 17. Wait, no more. No, that's right. Yeah, you kill it outright just with just those yeah, attacks. Hey. You don't have any extra attacks, but it is you destroy the fog. And just remove it because it's a fog. It doesn't leave behind a body. Well, there you go, umbrella. And I'll say, 
I'm Sorshin, and you have no power over me. Mm, okay. <laughs> uh, do you do anything else? Five foot step oh. or anything? Ah, uh, sure. A five foot step. Uh, but, I would uh, like to take my four. turn before this thing. Very well. And after... You may do so. So even though the other that fog got killed, I, I was actually going to say, you know what? I see my opportunity. I could make this. Go okay. For it. So yeah, I'm going to charge this thing. If if I can, can I? Are they close enough to the ground that I could reach them? Yeah, like you can. You have to run up some stairs to get to her, but yeah. She's like floating okay. above the stairs. I do that. I I try to seize the initiative here. I'm gonna make an attack at plus two because of charge. Okay. And she hasn't moved yet, so hopefully she's flat footed. Yeah. Okay, using the Mithril Short Sword. Yep, my weapon of choice. Yeah, you hit her, and she shrieks out uh, uh, as you do. It seems like all that damage hits her. She seems very surprised by it. Um... And I'm going to debilitate her with minus two attack. Okay. Is that minus two and, and I minus get four my, versus you? Yeah, minus two and minus four versus me. Um, okay. And I get my offensive defense bonus uh, dodge. Nice. Okay. All right. And that's uh, my turn. The hungry fog uh, sees sees an opportunity here. It's like, oh, I thought I wasn't gonna be able to reach it, but now it, now it's got something it can go for here. Um. So, let's see. I think it's still got to attempt to... Um, it's still got to attempt an attack roll on you. Like, even if it moves in, like, moves into your square, it's still got to attempt an attack roll on you. So, this is versus touch AC. Uh, does a 19 hit your touch AC? Uh nope, my touch is twenty. Okay. So that yeah, plus they... five dodge bonus from uh, offensive defense. Okay. Um, I think that's all it does. Then it tries to it tries to grab you with its uh, like the smoke kind of tries to wisp out and 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 wrap around you, but it's it's you're like moving away from it too well. It can't it can't actually get around you. Uh, it's not able to ensnare you. So that's its turn. Uh, on her turn, good old rolling a one on initiative for her. Uh, so she gets to go last here. She's going to five foot fly up backwards a little bit from you. And uh, she is going to cast a spell like ability. Uh, Dang. I guess it's actually 30 feet, so it's just going to hit just Abrellis. Uh, JC recognize this as the spell Fear. Um, so she hits Fear on Abrellis. Abrellis, I need a will save. Okay. So it's a 15 total. All right. Uh, you are panicked now because that is that fails the save. Actually, hold up. Yeah, 15. Okay, yeah, that is. Yep, so you are going to be panicked now. Unfortunately. 
Um, and that's it for her turn, though. All right, Hannah. Okay, well, I don't know what's going on in there, so I can't respond to that yet. But what I am going to do is go inside so that I can see my flaming sphere. So let's see. Uh... And then I'm going to use my other move action to move my scribble if it lets me. Uh, it I'll should. Move it. <laughs> Not letting you do it? Man, Where are you trying to move it to? To the, to the, the fog. And DC 19, and it's still sparked with that. I will. That. Yep. Alchemical power. These, uh... I'm sure Jace, Jacina will take care of it. These fogs are pretty bad at reflex saves, so. Yeah. As you might expect. Uh, yeah, I think a two fails. <laughs> yeah, I think. All right. Uh, I don't I'll get it hurt in a little bit, at least. Okay. Alright, uh... Silric, you're up. I will move in. Oh. It's weird. I see the arrow drawn for like where you want to move. <laughs> I will go away. <laughs> you have the different tool um, on the toolbar. Hit the, the yeah. cursor one. Yeah, I'm not sure really how you did that. That's kind of it looks like similar to the when you right left when you're holding left and right click together and, and moving tokens that way. Huh. Where it draws a line. Yeah, I'll just move you where you drew to. Yeah, I did the shift button. <laughs> I broke I it. That's, the arrows are still there though. That's so weird. I don't think anybody else can see them. I think just you and I can <laughs> no, see them. I don't see this. Yeah. Yeah, because it has a little <laughs> it has a little uh cross through the eye showing that it's like on the GM layer kind of. So that's yep. so weird. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, did you want to move any further than that, or is it just like right to that square? Oh, it went away. All right. There we go. We fixed it somehow. Well, good job, whatever you did. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I can move. How much can I go? Well, that was only sixty feet. What's what is your move speed? It's thirty. No, well, it's, it's plus thirty, isn't it? 40. Is it is it actually sixty, or is it seventy? Like, cause monk. Let me check what monks get. From... Well, they get the plus uh, ten, and then it goes up every few levels. Does it? Oh. Yeah. So unchained monk right now. She should have. Pl I think Silver has plus thirty, but it might be. Where does it have it on here? Fast movement. Uh, yeah. Right now you're at plus thirty move speed, so you can move sixty feet. So, uh, that would be sixty feet right there. Although, like I said, if you want to move over so you can actually attack the fog here, you could. I'd be fine with that too. You only get one attack, but or you could double move and get it right up next to like the flying woman here, but you won't be able to attack this round. Yeah, Silric's really fast. If you put haste on Silric, he can move. Yeah, he is. Oh, jeez. Yeah, yeah, monk but... things. Can I even attack, though? Because I don't have magic Well, I was just saying, if you, if you wanted to move down here instead, like, I'd allow that, and just retcon and say you move to one of these squares, you could attack the fog, at least. You'd only be able to attack once, but... 
Up to you, though. I'm just gonna stay here. Okay, so I maybe I can move there it. and, like, ready an action to hit something if it comes in range, maybe? Yeah, I'll ready my fist. Okay. Uh, Pilbo. I'm going to move. I can't. There we go. Thirty feet. And direct my weapon at the uh, other one. At the other fog. Okay. Yep, that'll hit. Oh. <laughs> All right. Every bit helps. Uh, that it then? Yep. All right, Jace. Okay. Um. Hmm. I think I'm just gonna go for the fog. It's gonna be an easier shot. Yeah, I don't yeah. really have a good line of sight. The fog is definitely an easier shot. If I move up five feet like that, can I? Am I gonna have cover from Pilbo? Yeah, but I wouldn't worry about it. Okay. You think these um, things are gonna be extraordinarily easy to hit? True. I'm gonna shoot it with the. Uh, I know it resists frost. I don't remember if it, it resists acid, but I'm gonna do acid splash for the extra uh, arrow acid. either way. Sure. It resists. That's fine. Okay. Um. So yes, same as last time. All my buffs are still on. So here's the Can you even do acid splash? What's the range on acid splash? Oh. Oh, I don't have point. Should be close. One. Whoops. Yeah. I forgot. I think you might just barely be in range for acid splash though. Uh. What are we nine? So. 45 feet. Oh, no, actually, you're too far. So no. Can't, yeah, splash it. So, just a full attack, then? Um, sure. Forget the uh, spell combat arrow, so the second one there. Forget that one. The, the good one, of course. Uh, on the plus side, though, well, that doesn't matter. <laughs> this thing has an AC of 5, just so you know. Oh, okay. Um, all right, so let's see here. So even though I really botched up my rolls and stuff, because it should be minus one yeah, from this, not having point blank, and this then thing it gets is plus four from cover. Yeah. So you uh, you you kill this thing. I still hit actually. It. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, this thing is actually something that you are uh, extraordinarily proficient at killing. Like, it has 5 AC and... Oh, yeah. Any, anything that's low AC, <laughs> yeah. I just output. If all my arrows hit, it's it's insane damage. Like, I didn't think this Magus build would be that strong. But if I hit, then, which is what I'm aiming to do with all my crafting and heroism, then yeah. I'm, I'm doing, like, Razael levels of damage. All right. Uh, so that's Jace's turn. Uh, Abrellis, you're panicked, so you drop yeah, your run away. mithril sword and run away. And if it wasn't obvious to everyone in the party that you're panicked, it is now. Where are you going, Abrellis? Running back. I mean, Jace knew it was knew the spell fear was cast, so I, I did tell awesome. you guys. Exactly I didn't say on. I did, but yeah, mm -hmm. I saw it was fear. I didn't say I told you guys, but I told you guys. Well, well, like, I, you, you mean told you just told him now, I, I guess. I might have done something different during my turn. Because I said, oh, Hannah doesn't know <laughs> what's going on. So. Yep. Actually, I can run further. I, I thought <laughs> when you said that, you meant you don't know what's going on inside the room. That's Not that correct. Didn't she couldn't know see that... inside because I was... Yeah, she, she, could be ca she didn't see that it cast fear because the yeah. wall was in the way. So. Right, okay. Alright, well, now you know. Uh, yeah. <laughs> that's fine. Well... Let's see. What? Close the hungry fog tab for now. Um.
Okay, well this thing doesn't know that you that Silverk has a ready to action, so it's going to actually kind of walk into it here. It's gonna do um it's gonna basically do a flyby attack, however, because you ready an action when it flies in to do its attack, you get to attack it once, um, if you choose to take that action. It's gonna set your initiative yes. to just before it, but okay. Go ahead and roll that attack. Um Okay. So you hit it. Um I believe your weapons count as cold iron and silver. Yes. So you do full damage to it. And it seems surprised about that as well. It thought it was just gonna get a free like flyby attack on you. Um, so yeah, it swoops down at you from kind of a, up on this balcony, and it's still going to get an attack on you, though, um, despite you hitting it there. Um, it's going to attempt to bite at you. Yeah, so 24. 24, does that hit? Versus Silverk Stacy. Yep, yeah, it hits. Okay. So it's going to do 10 damage to you. And then it's going to continue flying past you. And it's going to fly up here. Uh, it's going to be up closer to the ceiling. It's going to be like 25 feet up in the air. Out of anybody's reach. Uh, from melee, at least. And it's going to start cackling at you. Like, oh, you're very feisty. But um, that's its turn. All right, Hannah. Um. Oh, it's in the center of the room now. Well... Yeah, it flew up 25 feet in the air, though. Seems uh... like it's very fast. It has very high fly speed. Very quick. Can my sp spear, spear get to it within 30 feet? Or no? Uh, nope. It's further than 30 feet away. <clears throat> um. Then I am going to. Eh. Hmm. I. Yay. I was counting on my sphere getting to it. Okay. Well, I guess I will move the spear closer to it with a move action. And then I'm kind of knowledge it. What 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 kind of knowledge? Knowledge religion. Oh, I can't knowledge that. So I don't know. But I can glitter dust it. So I'll do that. Yeah. I'm going to boost my okay. DC by 2, so DC 19. Uh, it fails. Alright. Yeah, it looks like it worked. Yay. All right. Well, at least that. Yeah, that's something. Yep, and that's my turn. All right, uh, Pilbo. It's twenty-five feet up in the air. Um. Okay. Did anyone knowledge it as undead? I don't have religion. Nope. Too. Nobody's or rolled a knowledge religion on it yet. Yeah. Oh, okay. 
I should at least put a point. I've been hanging out with a religious person, so, I mean, I don't know. I, don't know. <laughs> I guess some knowledge, but not much, honestly. Oh, also as a heads up, I, I have to be done at 9 o'clock. So in about 50 minutes. Okay. Good to know. Alright, sorry, you rolled a knowledge religion. Uh, you know that these are undead. Um... You know that these, uh, I'm probably going to butcher the pronunciation of this name. They're called uh, Mananangals. Yep, it's a Mananangal. Yeah. I think it's like it's a. It's the Filipino folk vampire. Yeah. Yep. Uh, we fought one of these in Stirring Jayons, actually, too. Yeah. Um, she was, she was in, it was in the day, though. She was, she was still in her, uh, you know, she looked like a lady. Yeah. And so... somebody was beating the shit out of her. <laughs> yeah. So these are sort of like vampires. Um they you need they do have damage reduction, you need good or silver. Um they're also particularly vulnerable to light blades. Uh so you think that the uh attack that um the attack that Abrellis did probably was particularly effective against it. Um they do have a number of spell-like abilities. Uh, they do have light sensitivity as well. Um, although it's already blind right now from the glitter dust. But yeah, otherwise they just have undead traits. Uh, you think that if you get grappled by them, they can like blood drain as well. So, no resistance? Uh, other than standard undead traits and damage reduction where you need good and silver, uh, Pillow doesn't know of any. Does not know of any resistances. Cool. Alright, so I'm going to cast Searing Light. Ooh. Okay. Oh, yeah, that'll, that's gonna hurt. Kaboom, yeah. So, and this is, it's flat-footed touch AC right now, so pretty easy to hit right now. Yup. And it has light sensitivity, too. Oh, that's uh, not completely right. That's not all. a roll. <laughs> okay, that'll hit. Uh... <laughs> cool. Go ahead and roll your searing light. Yeah, it's 98. I don't think there's any pluses for there. No, there's not. Yep, 98, baby. Ooh, okay. Nice damage. Your light envelops this creature. Uh, she kind of, you know, holds her hands up and just shrieks, and uh, her form just kind of burns away, like uh, like an ant walking into a, into a beam of light from a, some like a magnifying glass. Just kind of sizzles away. Leaving nothing behind. Nice. Dang. <laughs> That's pretty sick. I'm sure Pilbo was the uh, kind of kid who would magnifying glass ants. So it makes sense. Yeah. With the source Only the of pretty uh, ones. Umbrellas' panic gone, Umbrellas probably comes back to her senses after a quick time and we're out of combat. Yeah. I will jog back in, see that there's a an ashy mound on the floor, and say, all right, good job, everybody. And I will pick up my weapon again. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, it actually took double damage from your, uh, from your sneak attack, so that one attack you got as well was definitely good, too. Pretty huge, yeah. Yeah, it was... Between that and the Syrian Light, yeah, you guys did pretty short work with it. Nice. Oh, even Silver hit it for quite a bit, too, with that 16. Well, looks like we've got quite a few options here to explore. Was there anything that we might have missed over here up these stairs, like as in details around the room? 
Uh, yeah, I hadn't got to that room yet because you couldn't really see into it at first because it's it's a this yeah the flight of stairs up here it's on like another level up here. Um, so back in that first room you went into, there were the suits of armor um, that the fog came out of, and then two other ones that are closer to the door. Um, uh, otherwise, in this room up here. Um, you see some more doors. There's like three, three more doors up here. Uh, We're in more doors. Wide, <laughs> the wide marble landing leads from the western stairs to an equally majestic ascending set to the east. So you see more, more stairs that lead up, and at the top of those stairs, uh, it's just a wide set of bronze double doors. Three other smaller, more normal-looking wooden doors stand at intervals around the wall. So there's actually four doors up here. If you count the double doors. Hmm. Um, but yeah, otherwise, yeah, it's a very nice looking room, like a marble platform up here, basically, and like very ornate looking. But um, otherwise, yeah, the only thing you guys see adorning these rooms are those suits of armor that are down at the uh, in the alcoves down there. Um, very imposing black suits that look like full plate. Um, and. Uh, I mean, there's also the... What else do they have in there? There was the... Um, there was also something else in there. There was like a... Uh, like a... I can't remember if it was a... I'm trying to figure out if it was a painting or like a statues. I'm going to carry a bottle of Shadow Essence while we look around. Yeah, so they're like they're bas relief sculptures, so they're kind of carved into the walls oh, okay. uh, along both walls in here is a depiction of a headless knight riding a horse whose eyes and nostrils trail gouts of flame. And this is like like I said, it's like carved into the wall. So you can like see it like yeah, very, very um detailed along both walls. Okay. Yeah, all right. Uh, so there's five doors, or like two sets there of doors. There are there there's like five. six doors. There's like six. six doors in this room in total. Oh, I see another one down here. Uh, yeah, this yeah, one right here. Yeah, sorry, I didn't really reveal it very well here, but there's another but one. But this here. one right here, these double doors, like they're going to like another level. Yeah. So and there's, these are fancy the stairs doors. Stairs lead up a little ways, and there are these bright, there are these really nice bronze double doors. I want to check these out. I want to perception them. Okay. Reveal your, your secrets that's where the to me, Doris. <laughs> I think so. straight to that. Just through the main path. Screw the side rooms. Well, technically, we don't have to fight anything. We just need to get the thing and then get out. Mm -hmm. Unless met with resistance, but true. Yes. You guys don't want to do anything with the fancy looking suits of armor that are down in these alcoves? Oh yeah, I, I wanted to detect magic just to see if they were magical. Uh, no, I was going to ignore that. Because they think... are in fact magic. Uh -oh. They they are? Because I thought Pilbo would really like a full plate of black armor. Uh, yeah, when you detect magic mm -hmm. and focus in on the auras, you do detect auras coming from all four suits of magic armor. Okay, I will concentrate um, and try and identify. Is that okay, a yeah. I'll just let him do that. I'll say, well, maybe they are decoration. decoration. Come, but they're also practical. Practical some, uh, decorations. What? Some, the, these that? are magical. Jace, you, you might, you might you like. De you determine that these are uh, plus one full plates. Okay. Um, it's a pretty expensive decoration. No, really. that's not better than what I got. You already have but, a plus one full but plate. But it can plus be two. better than what you. Oh, okay. So yeah. Yours is if I were these, to but upgrade, they're still valuable. They're exp they're heavy, but I, we can still carry it though. Yeah, yeah. help help. Yeah. Like bring these holding? next to the uh, the obel. Well, that's if we come back the same way. Like maybe we get fucking <laughs> jetted out of here. Uh, I mean, we that's true, but 
That reminds me I of, like... I we're coming back to the obelisk. Them, I don't know. Let's, so, like, one I, of the I first campaigns that I GM'd of Pathfinder, there were... The, uh... My party that I was GMing for, they killed they killed a dragon. This was, like, a level 9, actually, or so. It was pretty late in the campaign as it was ran. But, yeah, they killed, like, this blue dragon, and they had... They, oh, like, wait, I've got this... I got this bag of holding. They kept its, uh corpse and they put a bunch of treasure and they found its hoard and they put it in there and they're like dragging this thing around with the treasure like on the corpse basically and they left it they left it behind at one point and shit went down and they they ended up having to like run away because like it was like an army showed up basically and then they, they're like wait like wait a minute we left behind all of our treasure and then yeah they never got it back and it was hilarious oh. i was laughing about it this army comes upon so this like dead dragon with all. So the I'm just gonna uh, swoop these <laughs> yeah. full plates cool. into my bag of holding. Okay, yeah, that's right. fair. It looks cool. Like that's yeah, take they weigh 50 pounds, but so it'll noise. probably take a lot of. Yeah, it might. That's it's a okay. You take your time. Too. Yeah, I'm gonna work, carry a lot. Over here. I'm getting all nervous. While you do that, I'm taking my time checking this door out for traps. Okay. You can't copy and paste stuff. Can you? Huh? What? You can set the quantity to four, Ron. In Hero Lab. If you just talk about it in your Roll20 sheet. Oh, yeah, I don't know if you can copy and paste it. No, I think I have to make each one individually. Uh, no, you don't have to make individually when you make it. Um... Yeah, there's a quantity, quantity button four in, there. in the custom. Yeah, to make, you gotta make multiples so. before you start customizing, I think, is how that works. I don't know. Oh, well, I'll get there. It doesn't take that long. Yeah. Okay, well, if we don't get bombarded while they're taking down armor, does Abrolis at least get through the door? No, nothing seems to happen while you're doing that. Abrolis, you seem pretty sure that these doors are not trapped or locked, yeah. but... You do think you hear something on the other side. Uh, like, you think you hear kind of um, some kind of, like, uh, sniffing noise, kind of, almost. Ooh. And, like, a soft growling from time to time. I I put my finger to my Thinking mouth about and look it some the more, others. If it, the cage you hear kind of almost like, you think there might be dogs, basically. Like, you hear kind of like that kind of soft mm -hmm. kind of like not a full-on bark but like kind of like you know when a dog uh hears something and yeah but doesn't go full-on barking like they've been trained to kind of be quiet but they're still upset about something get those incense ready yeah actually that might come in handy here Do you want to do dogs? I'm i've got them in my handy haversack i can pull them out with a move action Um. Hmm. Do I keep the doors closed or do I open them? I and mean, if we make noise elsewhere, they'll start barking, right? So we probably want to take care of them. Maybe. All right, that sounds like a good idea to me. I'm gonna carefully try to open the door. Okay, so you're trying to be stealthy about it. Yeah. Okay, go ahead and roll a stealth check. Oh, baby. Ooh. All right. Man, you open it just a little bit and stab it. Uh, well, maybe. Uh, so, let's see. I'm going to start off giving you kind of a description of the room here and what you see. Before we go any further with this, uh, so this is... So, you see a grand dining hall but it's in complete disarray. A uh, huge Ooh. steaming roast via with festering carrion on two long tables with elegant cloth table runners. Several chairs lie knocked over and chunks of half gnawed food are strewn all around the room. You also see all around the room what look to be um, very, very large dogs. It looks like they're kind of most of them look like they're kind of like you know lying about gnawing on on some of the stuff that's that's uh on the ground there, but 
Um, there's like one that's kind of looking towards the door and kind of doing that soft, like, like soft barking kind of. He knows something's over there, but like a whimper. Doesn't know what yet. Kind of a whimper bark, yeah. Okay. And these dogs, uh, I believe you've seen these before, actually. Uh, it has oh, a God, are they the ones that from the seems, shrine? That seems to drink up the light, drawing shadows in around and around it. Um, and like you can see, like wisps of shadow seem to drip from their tongues. Um, you yeah you encountered these back in the shrine that you guys saw that that weird shrine that was back in um Sorshin's, uh in Sorshin's statue like in the little dungeon that she had under Sorshin's light yeah the other place where we saw a thing shut the door and left mm -hmm. so yeah you know you remember from the last time you guys saw the they have kind of like a howl that they can do that causes uh that causes people to become panicked. But yeah, you're able to kind of crack the door open enough that they don't notice. They don't notice you like peeking in. Mm -hmm. And you're able to kind of get it back shut before before the one that is actually looking at the door even like really re is able to react. All right. How many did I see? Uh, you think there were half a dozen. Okay, I tell the others that there's yeah quite a bevy of of dogs in there. Okay, I'm ready. So, um, what I could do is vanish you. You can smoke stick and then leave the thing, and then they can't scent you. And then we can have like the smoke stick giving us cover at the door or something. And then you can. Yeah. I don't know if you want to go in though, but I can get like a flaming sphere out again I guess mm -hmm. but that's only one at a time I, uh... so these dogs are they like large enough to fit oh wait well do these are these dogs like large or are they medium they're medium size? they're medium size okay. hmm I just, if you think we can take them, then we can, but I just feel like somebody's going to get overwhelmed for at least a couple of rounds. Yeah, I think you guys made the knowledge check on these things last time as well. So um, We did. Yeah, so the other thing you know about, besides the fact that they have that howl that causes people to be panicked, um, you also know that uh, in anything other than, um, anything other than, like, daylight, they have uh, concealment, like full concealment, and you need you need like daylight basically to over to overcome that ability. Is, do we do we have access to that? I have light at will. Where does this come from? Lights, yeah, light. You know that light isn't going to be good enough. Like the spell, light, a torch, continual okay. flame. None of those. None of that stuff's going to be good enough. Maybe just leave the door closed. Bar it, actually. Can you bar the door? Maybe we have to go through it anyways. I don't know. We could always fly, right? And break a window somewhere else. Maybe, um, yeah. There are you know, our windows you saw on the outside. Maybe just bar this door shut and avoid it. Yeah, we'll see. We'll leave it for now. Well, if we're going to leave this either. for now, then where are we going to go? Yeah, there's a lot of doors to choose from. Yeah, there's a lot of doors. You can, know, you can kind of intuit that the one that's over here is probably going to that tower. Uh, you guys saw the weird flying thing land in. Uh, oh, yeah. So you at least know a little bit about that one. Mm. I mean, it's that's not much, but... That there, other than that, there's some sort of dragon-like creature in there. It would be like over here somewhere, maybe. 
It's you think it would probably be this one, the the one that was down to the Let's bottom of the out. stairs, that that probably leads to the tower. Let's go check it out, guys. Okay, so I'm gonna check this door. Yep. Yeah. Maybe it's not even. Maybe it's not. I don't know. Hostile. Maybe. All right. Uh, yep. The door appears to be unlocked and not trapped. Okay, then I'll carefully open it. Okay. Let's get the old polygon reveal tool. Okay. It's a tiny ass stairwell. What the hell? Ugh. Yeah, I know. It's uh, well, kind of weird, but so let's see here. This room, uh, it's a tower is a single enormous hollow stone cylinder. A spiral staircase winds up against the southern wall, but what lofty vantage the stairs may have led to is no longer discernible, as the tower's top appears to have been broken off sixty feet up, leaving the whole place open to the sky. The tower's upper rim is mostly jagged and broken stone, though a jumbled mess of lumber spans and partially covers one side of the opening. So you can kind of see, um, kind of covering the side. Like, you guys couldn't really tell before because the side that's covered is the side that's facing the front of it. But you can kind of see this, the, uh, the sky, is, if you can call it the sky. Um, coming in from this side. And it looks like there might be, like, maybe part of a platform up there. But, it, um, yeah. Like, the stairs maybe lead up to, but... Mm-hmm. Alright, I'm going to carefully walk inside, then. Okay. Do these mm. stairs? Mm-hmm. You want to go up the stairs? Oh, man. They only uh, go up Pilbo, so far, you... though, right? P yeah, they only go. They only go up so far. Uh, Pillow, you with them? Yep. Okay. I'll carefully climb the stairs. I'll As you get towards the stairs. You see something uh, fly out from a, on that platform. Okay. And it has a very dragon-like looking appearance. Mm -hmm. And then you see another one also. And uh, yeah. it looks like they start... It looks like they're ready. They're about to swoop in on you guys. Everyone can... Roll another initiative. Yay! All right, yeah. Connection to the server has been interrupted. Hooray! In fact, there's three of these things. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Oh, good thing. Good thing too. You you didn't get to see my sick nasty initiative roll. Ooh, at least <laughs> I get to go like later. Oh. Like These things so kind of remind me of those creatures from mummies. There we go. The storm drip things. And... I don't know if that's what they are. I wonder if this, what I have in my hand, will work on these things. I mean, I don't see why not, but. Will it matter? See, just the thing is, is like. My build's a slow killer, but then we got Jacina, who's just like, I don't know. Yeah, don't don't worry about it. don't worry about him or her. They 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 I get stymied wanna, all the time. I just want to watch we need you. things like suffer to poisons, but like, I'm afraid that they'll just die to a bunch of arrows instead. Oh, my initiative didn't yeah. update. I have nothing. Oh, you can just change the number. 
All right, so I gotta roll. Looks yeah, I mean, three D fifties. I don't know. Yeah. If you poison something, then I can not target it because it's already been like partially neutralized. I guess. I don't know. Depends on the poison. I mean, though. just yeah. <laughs> just, I don't know. Just save the poison for the the perfect opportunity. Now I'm running See, out I think of poison's really good at it, DCs like being subtle. Subtle. Well, the the ones I have, the DCs are low, so it's like I want to use them before it's like completely pointless. Or I guess I can sell them for pennies, but. I don't know. All right, this thing is going to swoop down. Technically hovering wait, just it above beat my initiative. Oh wait, initiative you, didn't have, not... you didn't have your token selected or something, or I the swear server I did. freaked out. Maybe the oh. server freaked out. Uh -huh. Yeah, I'm at right, a 33. Well, first. Yeah, it looks like nobody's initiative updated properly. <laughs> wait, did mine not go either? Because yeah, I rolled really yeah. well. I definitely had my guy selected. Like it's still selected. I reselected and edited it. No idea. Uh, go ahead and put it in manually, I guess. Mm -hmm. Or I can do it. Yeah, when I roll a 20, I dunk on everybody's initiative. Mm -hmm. No matter what you roll. Mine all right, for I sure, think yeah. it's all corrected Mine now. <laughs> okay. Well, in that case, yeah, Brellis goes first. So these are all flying up in the air right now. Um... They're kind of, they just came off the platform, basically, so they're uh, 50 feet up. Mm hmm Will knowledge local or dungeoneering tell me anything about them? Uh, no. I believe. Are any of them within 30 feet of me? Uh, no, they're all, they're all, like, 50 feet up in the air right now. So at the moment, none of them are. Damn. Well, you know what I'm going to do then? I take out a smokestick. Huh. Okay. Take out a smokestick. Take this, assholes. Now you can't see me. Alright. That's my turn. Okay. Uh, Silric. So, yeah, these things are up 60 feet in the air, so you probably can't hit them yet. I can't attempt to jump up and grab one, can I? If you jump uh, really high. It'd be really yeah, high I think DC. we can we can look at the acrobatics DC on Oh, there. it's it's hard. Jumping DCs it are hard. It can't be that bad. Oh, they're they're bad. Um, if you delay, I might be able to do something, but it looks like they're gonna so, go before I do. So. It'd be a two hundred to jump fifty feet from standing. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. Oh, they're fifty feet up. Never mind. Yeah, so it is it is potentially doable it, what? with the right. I pull a Jesus right... moment. Yeah, uh, yeah. If, if you're like a if you're like a really high level character and probably have some magic Raz assisting you, you can, you can jump fifty feet in the air. High I'll just ready Raz. my fists if one comes after me. Yeah. Okay, so you just delay for now. Is pretty high. Or ready in an action. Already in action. I mean, she's a monk, she can use a key to jump extra high, right? Or something, or more higher? Or yeah, high jump. Yeah, yeah. So. Yeah. yeah. Get yeah, a they... plus 20. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. That gives you, like, 10% of what you need to jump 50 feet. I'm just ready my action for now. I don't there. think I can do, yeah. do Jesus moment. Yeah, they're bound to All come right. down to you anyways. <laughs> <laughs> Jace, uh, you can't really see these, but probably you can see your allies' reactions to know something's up. Like, you see Umbrella drop a smokestick. Yeah. <sighs> um, I guess I'll come into the room. What's the worst that can okay. happen? Uh, oh. I mean, come in. I'll, that's I'll... a rhetorical question, right? Yeah. So I'll do that, and then, uh, let me double check this. Yeah, okay, I'll cast haste on the party, assuming I can still cast it on Umbrellas, oh. even though he's in smoke. You can't cast it on Umbrellas, because you can't see her. 
Well, a browse doesn't get haste. Everyone else does. Aww. That Everyone else has my... haste. All right. Uh, dragon. It's going to come in now. It's going to swoop down. Uh, it's going to be still in the air, but it's going to be like, I think I don't think this thing has enough reach that it can. Uh, yeah, it has to get within five feet. So it's only five feet off the ground, basically. Um, and it's going to come down here, and it's going to uh, try to sting at. It's got like you notice, it's got like a, a t like a stinger on its tail, and, it, and it's going to swing it out at Pilbo. Um, this will be as Pilbo's flat-footed, actually, too. So I'm guessing a 29 will hit. Yeah. Okay, so. Pillow takes 10 damage, but also I need a uh, fortitude save. Oh, yeah, Jesus, Knowledge Arcana for this. I think you actually have Knowledge Arcana. Yeah, I do. I just always forget to. Okay, roll you're fine. Uh, you think there's like a poison, you feel it kind of uh, pumping into your, into your blood when it stings you, but. Uh, it doesn't seem like it's affecting you. Poo, can um, I roll that now, or do I need to wait till my next turn? Yeah, go turn? for it. Go ahead. And oh, roll it. thank you. You're such a kind and I am very generous GM. Uh, yeah, okay. I, I have. You know, power. you know that these look to be particularly um, strong specimen of wyvern. Ooh. So they are dragons, but they're a lot dumber than a normal dragon. They're kind of like they're kind of like dragons inbred cousins. Um, okay. Other dragons kind of hate them, but uh, they tend to they do have enough intelligence to have kind of their own pride. They they consider themselves to be dragons. Um, they have some of the normal dragon traits, like immune to sleep sleep and paralysis effects. Um, but otherwise, like, they don't have anything special going on. Uh, they do have a really nasty poison that does constitution damage, so watch out for that. Hey, I make sure Hannah Hanna? knows. Yeah. Um, but yeah, they also, like, like dragons, you think they probably have a horde nearby, too, most likely. Sweet. Uh, anyway, Pilbo, this thing just tried to sting you. It's now next to you. And it's your turn. Um, I want to knowledge. Okay. Uh, knowledge Arcana. I mean, I tell you everything I learned. Doubt you'll yeah. learn more, but maybe. Is there something specific no, you're trying to I learn? No, I learn more. No, I didn't know. I didn't hear Jace roll knowledge Arcana for them. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah. So these yeah, are wyverns. They're, they're like. Their wyverns are dumb dragons. They have no they have weaknesses that we know about besides immunity to like sleep. Mm, yeah, they don't have any particular weakness. Their weakness is to call them not real dragons and to get them pissed that's, off. That's the sound of my people. Oh, we this know they have a madness. nasty poison too. I don't know if you heard that secret. So you'll want to try and harvest their poison afterwards. Yeah, does anybody in this group speak draconic? I think... I think I actually I might. do. Yeah, no. I foregone it. Okay. I figured somebody else would have learned it. No. I do okay. speak Draconic. Okay. So, Jace, you I also hear something. one of them like, yelling, like, ah, fresh meat in Draconic. Huh. Uh... I, I don't say anything because I don't want them to know that I understand and I'm saying, like, yes, we feast tonight. But I will keep an ear out if they say anything about where their horde is. Sure. I'm not sure these are the hoarding type, but hey, uh, you know. No, they are. We oh, were okay. told that they are. 
they like to try to have hordes too because they're emulating they try to emulate actual dragons uh, <laughs> they like to hoard stuff as well um i'm yeah i'm still going to visions of madness the one that just attacked me okay uh that's first touch so that'll hit all right minus fours Minus fours, uh, and then plus four to skill checks, right? Yep. Okay. Uh, this one, it's going to swoop down to kind of maybe partially in or just above the cloud. It's going to go after Hannah with a <gasps> sting attack. Okay. Hannah just wants to find out what the poison does. Hmm. It's on the back of my mind. Alright, so six damage and take, and I need a fortitude save. I can't remember if I have luck bonuses or not, so I'm gonna roll that. Don't tell me if I win or lose. Um, let me see here. Sure. Brum, brum, I don't think. No. God, she, she has so many, like, bottles of things. Like, you guys might... Well, no, she has a handy hammer sack, but there's so many, like... Yeah. She has so much stuff. Oh, my God. She might be well, hopefully you have something that's good against poison, because yeah. you are poison. Yeah, I, uh... I failed that one. Dang it. <laughs> Oof. Four con constitution damage. Oh, no, not this again. <laughs> Again? Oh no. Yeah. Oh. Wyvern poison is actually. Hannah's really just good. collecting poison. It's she's like kept breathing. Yeah. Not Wyvern the poison is actually way, like, really though. bad too. Uh, this one is gonna fly down and it's gonna trigger Silverick's uh ready to action. So go ahead and take an attack on him. Uh, so eighteen. Let's see. That will actually miss. Um, and then it's also going to set, technically set your initiative down to just before this one's turn. Actually, I'm actually on the wrong one. It's this guy's turn. Uh, so he's going to do a single sting attack at you as well. Uh, does a 25 hit Silric? Yes. Yep, so he takes 6 damage and I need a fortitude save versus it's poison. Alright, you're fine. Poison doesn't bother you. Alright, Hannah, you feel poisoned. Uh, it's your turn. What do I want to do in this situation? So they didn't seem to have a, a resistance. So nobody said they did. No. Did it? So they, it looks like they're getting close to things. So they may not have reach. We think that they do not be, have reach. Yeah, they didn't. You don't think they have reach. I'm gonna five foot step back. And I'm going to use an arcane point um, to use an arcane exploit, which is oh. going to be, I never really use this, but my acid jet. Um, so I got to make a touch attack. I'm going to attack right. the one, hmm. Uh, gosh, I I guess the one near Abrellis. Oh, oh, is that a confirm? This is critical, by the way. That is confirmed. Yeah. Okay. I think it's critical. 
It is. A it is. Yeah, you can crit on a. You can crit on those. Anything that has an attack roll. Oh. So that's double its die. Yep, does double damage. And double any of the static modifiers too. Yeah, that's uh pretty good. Hey, I had a crit. Nice. Yeah. Okay, and then they gotta make a save. Okay. The fortitude save or what? Uh, yeah, fortitude to negate sickened. I don't know if it can get sickened. Uh, it looks like they negate the sickened, okay. but it's still a critical, so they took 31 damage. Ooh. All that damage goes through. Yay. So Naru is 5d6 plus 1. Jeez, I feel like Hannah just kills everything one. too yeah, fast. 5d6 plus 1, yeah. Uh, alright. I didn't so... kill it, what are you talking about? You would have killed it if yeah, you it's still up. it. Um, oh, it was called a joke. <laughs> All right, uh, Abrellis, so you're kind of hiding in this fog. I am hiding in this fog, and the so the the wyvern is it within reach, or is it like just yes. above it? It's, it's within five reach. feet. Okay. It's five feet above the ground, so. Okay, so I'm going to take out my mithril uh, short sword and I'm going to stab it. I don't know if it can see me very well, so here's hoping mm -hmm. for sneak attack. I'm giving you sneak attack on the first attack. Sweet. Well, yeah. Here comes... Uh... Oh, that's right, because I have iteratives now. Oh, yeah. I do, in fact, have iteratives, because my BAB is 6. Yeah, although you might only get one attack if you don't have, like, quick draw or something. Oh, that's right, I gotta pull it out anyway. That's fine. Take that. Ah, the 20 and no, 1. No confirm, but... Uh, Alright, so you do some good damage to it, though. It's, that's how uh, it do. 30 damage. 30 damage, and I'm going to debilitate it so that it cannot uh, take five foot steps. No, it actually, it was on the, I think it's actually on the ground at this oh, point. Oh, it's on the ground? Yeah, oh, okay. so it actually, when it got hit for that critical, there, um, well, I guess a fly check. Is it just a static fly check, actually, or is it based on the damage? It is static, it? yeah, it's 15. Okay, so let me just double check, see if it, it might be on the ground. It doesn't have a very good fly bonus. Uh, no, it was still on the ground, but maybe it's... Let's do it again, because it just took damage again. Okay, it's still in the air. Alright. Uh, but it does have a debilitating effect as well. Uh, which one are you putting on it? Um, well, if it's on the ground, I'm actually going to give it the minus uh, to uh, to AC. No, it's not on the ground. It made its fly check. It's on the ground? Okay. Um, yeah, I'm going to debilitate it to where it, it can't five feet. Okay. It's got to take full moves. All right. Um, Jace. Okay. Um, let's see. The one next to Pilbo has the minus four. Correct. Okay, so I. It doesn't really help me. I'm just gonna shoot the one that's attacking Zilric. And I'm gonna okay. fall around it because I don't think it can. Um, and I'll do, let's see, I'll Arcane Pool Enhance Delio, so that's my second point used. Should still have Heroism. <sighs> um, and then I'll, I'll do an Acid Splash. Yeah, it's free. Sure. So that should be... Not the gravity boat one. This one. Mm, those look pretty good. Uh, I think those are all going to hit. Dang, the four hit? Okay. 
That ended up being a 20. Yeah. Um, their okay. AC is a little lower because they charged. So, uh, nice. so that's on and this one you said, right? A little, little bit of that. The one on Silric, yeah. Which one's technically the first attack? Is it the spell attack? Uh, the first one, one says on spell it? attack, yeah. Okay. I'm just making sure, like, which one has the many shot arrow on it. Uh, many, yeah. Reference. First one has the many. In this shot. case, it doesn't matter, but. Okay, so that's 17. Yeah, I, I put many shot at the bottom because I didn't want to re cut and paste all of my attacks so they're next to each other. Okay, it's still up, and it shrieks out, like, in Draconic, you understand, that yells out, Sisters, take out that, take out that woman with the bow! Yeah, um, God, I'll it hurts. Five foot step back here. Sure. Um, okay. The next person going is this wyvern. It's going to fly five feet closer to you, and it's going to fall around you. Good news for you is it has a negative to its uh, from touch of madness or visions of madness right now, so you got that going for you. Yeah, uh, I'm surprised they didn't say go for uh, Hannah after that crit. It's gonna start with a yeah. uh, nope. sting. I, Sixteen I misses. One, okay. That if that's one. against if that's against my total AC, I have twenty one. It's against regular AC. That's correct. Yep. It's gonna do two wing it. Uh, yeah, it's gonna land actually. What is it does that? It's gonna five foot down on the ground. It's so it's gonna actually free up its wings to take two swings at you as well. Okay. Um, I think these are very unlikely to hit. Hold on. This is the two wings. Mm-hmm. And then it's gonna try to bite you. Oh no. Bite me. And it yes. Misses. This is the madness paid off there. Otherwise, it would have hit with at least that one of those saved attacks. Me. So. Uh, at least, yeah, the 19 dev. 16 so would. 16 would have been a would have been a 20. So actually. Yeah, 21 AC. No, oh, okay. So yeah, I would still miss then. Um. All right. So that's its turn. Uh, Pilbo is your turn. Uh, which 21 AC isn't that high. Yeah, Pilbo's turn. Okay. Um, I'm I'm going to j full round attack the one that I uh, visions and madnessed. Okay. With the cestus. Yep, with the cestus. Actually. Yeah. Mm. No. Okay. Uh, I think those both miss. Unfortunately. Anything else though? Five foot step or anything? Uh, where's G? Yeah, I'll five foot step behind this one. Okay. Uh, Hannah, I need a fortitude save as this poison is still in you. Yeah. Okay. Can I just drink the poison I have and outdo that poison? <laughs> that would be so awesome! <laughs> no, no, I'm serious. You should make, like, something that does that. Oh no. Four con. Four more constitution damage. Yeah, and this save just gets You are too. in All trouble. Right. Let me, let me figure out. Do you have out. nine con damage? Where are you almost that? dead? Did I take damage? Probably no, no, almost dead. Just, uh... Not this round. That was just the poison. Uh, it hasn't even taken its turn yet. I just the poison triggers right before its turn. Yeah. And Pluto being Actually, Pluto what you're rolls describing is just medicine. Yeah. Um. Well, I mean, yeah. I, I thought you were kind of generous. Dead. Yeah. 
Uh, it's going to provoke from Umbrella since it has that debilitating strike. Depends on how. That's right. I'm gonna tech it. Works. And it's gonna fly. It's actually gonna provoke from Silric as well because it's gonna kind of fly. Oh, <laughs> it's over going Silric. for me. Mm -hmm. Beat it up. Actually, no, it's not gonna do that. It's just gonna fly up because it's almost dead. <laughs> it's scared. Ah, I slash at it. But, but it's, it's still AC. Um, yeah. Uh, that'll miss, unfortunately. It's even with a minus four AC. Damn. It has a AC of of seventeen. So, so it just flies up, um, kind of up in kind of a circling arc. Uh, it doesn't get as high because its speed is slowed down from the debilitating strike. Um, that's all it does. Um. Silric, it is your turn. So is the one next to me still low enough where I can actually punch it? It is, yes. Okay. And if you take it out, you could you can five foot step and continue your attack. Actually, since you have flying kick, if you take it out, you could five foot step thirty feet away and attack. <laughs> oh my That's God. insane. Um, so let's see, that 30 is enough actually to drop you know, to down this, this wyvern, so... If flying you like, kick you can... doesn't specify that you have to move on the ground. <laughs> Couldn't True. you move 30 well, it feet is called vertically? Flying kick. Uh, I think it has I to be think... in a direction that you normally have movement ability. Capability. Yeah, I think you still have to use your movement to do it, but if you have a fly speed, you can. Yeah, if you have a fly speed, sure. Um, presumably if you made an acrobatics, you could do it too. Jump somewhere and do it, but yeah. Um, but yeah, if you'd like, you can move over and try to hit this one. You actually have one more attack as well, because you have the haste attack, so. Oh, this one up here is up in the air. This is like 30 feet in the air. This one? Attack the other one, yeah. Yeah. That one, the one oh, that's right on also top Also, I gotta me. get going here. I think you guys could finish this without me. Okay. Sure. I think the wyverns are in hand. The real problem is, is Hannah gonna survive this poison? Uh... Yeah, I don't know what it, I don't know what to do about her. Oh. All right, so, so sorry, we'll if you want to make one more one more like attack, uh, these other two are gonna miss, but okay, twenty four will hit though. Okay, so you do a little bit of damage to this thing, but it is still up. Uh, this one I can take from off the combat tracker because it is uh, unconscious right now on the ground. Um, Hannah, it's your turn. Okay. Um, well, I pull out from my handy haversack a bottle of antitoxin and drink it. Okay, that's probably a good a call. Bonus. And then, oh, uh, yeah. When I save, I'll save. Hopefully. <laughs> um, also, I'll, like, step over here. Just to... I'll step into the fog, actually. Yeah. Okay. Um, I guess I'll have Abrellis. It's Matt's, I think, Mattery left, right? So I'll have Abrellis, um... We still invent actually, but I'll have a Brellus move over and just do a single attack on this thing. Maybe I can. Oh, I can't actually get into a flank though. I'll also have the Brellus delay for now. I'll maybe have a Brellus do something if I feel like uh, she needs to, but. Uh, Jay. Hmm. Well, this one's right on top of me, right? So. Mm hmm. Hmm. It's, on the, it's makes landed on the ground even. Standing on its two legs there. I mean, I'm just gonna full round it <laughs> and, okay. and hope it doesn't have combat reflexes. <laughs> so, and then any extra arrows, I'll five foot step and shoot at the one in the air. And I'll, I'll ask splash. It's fine. Okay. 
I'm guessing you'll cast the Acid Splash defensively, though. Uh, sure. It's gonna try to sting you with its uh with its stinger. Yeah, on the first attack. Uh, oh maybe. boy. No confirm yeah, though, but I need a fortitude save. Okay. Uh, please don't. Maybe no. You're fine. Okay. You do take seven damage. Uh, but it only gets the one attack. Does not have combat reflexes. Um, and I potentially crit it? this damage. Uh, yeah, your second attack does get a confirmed crit. But does so it's probably dead. Kill it? Oh no, the first, first attack, attack does not kill it. it. Okay. Um, yeah, your first attack's going even with the eighteen from many shot. Yeah, even with the eighteen from many. Shot. Okay. Um, <laughs> and then even times if I three assume... crit. Even if I assume you rolled a three on the acid splash. Oh yeah, sorry, I forgot to roll that. But that crit Wait, finishes that roll. Hey, I still rolled a three. Okay, and then your last that nineteen will pivot over the other one. Yeah, I five foot um, step here. Miss, but then the twenty four will hit it, and that actually drops it. Yeah, we're not out Jay of rounds Selena's yet, though. Pretty strong. Uh, um, so let's see here. Pilbo gets to go before that next uh, fortitude save will happen. So Pilbo, is there anything that you can do or want to do or whatever for for Hannah? You saw me drink a bottle of something. <coughs> Restoration. Yeah. Restoration yeah, takes I three rounds to cast. Of I, I know, but idea start, to start it. doing it. You you okay. want to start it? Yeah. <laughs> okay. So you unless you, unless you have something to cure her begin, poison. Begin casting restoration. Yeah. Lesser restoration then. Okay. Nope. All right. That's probably a good idea. Uh, I need a four. I'm afraid save. she's gonna die though. I you do get the anti-toxin bonus. Here. Come on. Yep. Oh, oh. So the plus five is not factored into that, right? It, that's right, it's not. And I'll come out here as well. Alright, unfortunately, it's a DC 17. Oh no, my con's too low, it's hurting me! Yeah, your bonuses got hurt from the Three con damage. Three more con damage. So you're at 12? How much con do you have? I'm guessing 14. More than you usually bring. <laughs> what? Uh, I bring 14! Oh, do you? Nowadays? <laughs> Most days. D you okay. Who um. I might have one character who didn't. I don't know who. What did Philippe have? I don't even remember. No, like, he only had, like, Philippe is pretty Oracle low. Oracle is like tanky with no health. Right? Oh yeah, my Oracle. <laughs> I, I don't know. What the uh, con is? Okay, it's twelve or fourteen. So probably twelve. All right. Uh, anybody do anything before the next round? We have one more. Oh, and um, actually, Hannah's unconscious, unconscious already. I'm at negative one now. Yeah. Yeah. So Pilbo's uh, casting lesser restoration. Yeah. I don't have anything to help. I don't think. I mean, okay. if she dies, I'll just bring her back to life. No big deal. Uh, I don't want to die. Though. Yeah. With Raid's dead? Well, if we don't have anything else we can do, it's going to go into the next uh, round. Yeah, he's got another round. Right? Yeah. Mm. He's got two more rounds to cast that Lesser Restoration because it takes a three round cast time. I I will pull out the whispering coin, and I will whisper to it, "Is Hannah going to die?" And then flip it in the air. Uh, yeah, results unclear, but probably. Um, <laughs> Hannah gets another fortitude save though. Okay, I still get that bonus, uh, because it's the bus plus five is still in there. Yep. But you got to roll pretty high. Let's go. Oh. Oof. 
Yeah. Because I, I can't use the Wand of False Life on because it's a personal spell. Right. Correct. Unless you're a tribe wizard. Yeah. Not the that right. okay. help, because the con damage is going to do it. Yeah. That's what I'm oh, going for boy. every single time. Oh, okay. boy. Pluto. Well, yeah. I'm, I'm at zero. Yeah, so Hannah dies to the poison, basically. Unfortunately. No. Pluto, how could you? You rolled four, four, three, four. I rolled a lot of four, yeah. And then in the previous one, you rolled like four, three. Yeah, wyvern poison uh, is what probably is the one, the, one of the scariest poisons in the game, actually, because it does d4 con damage, and you, not only that, it was actually worse than you might have even realized, because you actually have to save two consecutive times to cure yourself of it. Um, oh, if you get boy. lucky. If you get lucky, it does only last for six rounds. Um, if you have only one dose of it, so roll really low. Sometimes you can survive it, even if you fail every save. But <sighs> I'm glad I didn't get poisoned at least. Um, Pil Pilbo, you you said you could bring her back. I can breath of life her, right? Uh, right now, yeah. You stop. Ooh, yeah, yeah. Uh, you have only from one round con to do damage. It. I don't know if it'll work, though, is the oh, problem. Let me check. I don't no, think that will work. No, no, it doesn't. Take because oh, you'll still have no con. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, because uh, the, problem, the problem with Breath of Life uh, it gives, hit gives you healing, and if it puts your hit points back above. Yeah. But if you didn't die to hit point damage, it generally doesn't really work. Oh yeah, you died to uh, ability damage. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Sucks. Uh, lesser restoration is all I have to heal ability damage. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so yeah, sorry, but them's the dice. I mean, we can bring your body back and get a uh, raised dead or something. No, I have a plan. I'll tell Pluto. <laughs> okay. You, uh, yeah, if you have okay. like another character you want to bring in. Are uh, you playing another character? Uh, yeah, I think so. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, I'm excited see to see what you have. How Pluto can put me in. It's in an awkward spot too, yeah, because well, you guys are in the middle of this dungeon. It might but, not be be that but, awkward yeah. if you work with me. I don't know. The I have ideas. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, if you got an idea, I'm willing to I'm willing to hear it. Yeah, I, well, I also think too. Perhaps the party will retreat back through the portal thing. Now that Hannah died, that may give you room in Karamaga to a new character. Maybe if we're like, if hey, we need can. help. We're not strong enough to do this on our own. And then the they're like, hey, open, well, we but... have this person. <laughs> you just know that it's it's very uh, sketchy going it's back. Gonna it's, it's, it's gonna hurt. It's gonna hurt you. Yeah, I mean, maybe, maybe we just go on and finish the the dungeon. I don't know. Yeah, well, I mean, doesn't seem that big. Yeah, it's not really. It's uh, because it's kind of an extension of the other dungeon, right? So uh, yeah. Like if you combine those two, it's a pretty full size dungeon. But this is like this is basically like a floor of like the last. Yeah. Dungeon, right? So are we continuing playing now, or are we stopping here? Uh, no. This is probably where we're gonna stop. Uh, Matt had to go okay. already. Okay. Because so. you know I want to go find the horde of treasure, but we can save that for next time. <laughs> uh, we can deal with the treasure right now, I suppose, if you really want. Is it up um, the stairs? Yeah, so if you climb up the stairs... Um, That's where I would guess it is. Mm -hmm. You have like a way to navigate once like the stairs stop, because there's like that platform kind of a little bit past where they do, but you have like a way to climb well, or something you can use to fly. Um, I do. Let me see if if my climb on its own is good enough. Uh, probably not. I'll just cast the fly spell. Okay. 
And you so have I've up in a you see like a, a nest up in the spells. broken cross bre- cross beams. Um, actually, I guess the stairs get you, it says the stairs get you all the way up there. They're at the top of the stairway apparently, so you don't even need to fly. You can just climb. You oh, okay, the good. Um, when you get up the stairs, you do find a small horde. Um, there are numerous. Uh, there's also numerous bones and bits of shiny scrap metal. But in addition in there, uh, you find a very nice looking, especially compared to some of the trash that's kind of hanging around here, a very nice looking suit of leather armor. Um, And Mm. if you're detecting magic around there, you detect magic coming from it. Uh, A wand. And a, A uh, a leather bag that seems to have a couple magic ores within it. Okay. And if you look into the leather bag, you see uh, yeah, what looks like horseshoes and like a little kind of crystal-looking uh, charm on a chain. Okay. Okay. I'll try and identify all the things. Okay, the bag four magic magical? items in total. Five, actually. No, four. The bag is not. Four magic items in total. Okay. So it's leather armor. Hey, that's good. Something. Horseshoe. Charm. Okay. So I think you got all of them here. Uh, the low roll was on the wand, which is the lowest thing anyway. It was a wand of mount with 37 charges on it. Hey, you use the horseshoes on the mount, I bet. You could, I suppose. Um, the armor is plus one shadow leather armor. Um, the horseshoes are called horseshoes, uh, horseshoes of a zephyr. I don't know why it says horseshoes of a zephyr, but I. Um, horseshoes of a zephyr. They is are... Hannah dead yet? Yeah, Hannah yeah, died I'm to dead. the poison. Oh hey, shit, son. Just a checkup. Yeah, we're pretty much wrapping it up, but they're we're wrapping the, up. I the, found the they found the wyvern horde. Okay. Is there anything that so... can bring Hannah back? No. <laughs> no. Well, I mean, you guys could pay for the funds and stuff, but I don't want to come back. Yeah, it's... Seeker is gonna play another character. It sounds like so. Aw, that makes me a little sad, but. There is some armor for you. Plus one shadow leather. But you're gonna cool. love this, Matt. So <laughs> Why am I gonna like love this? Stealth bonuses. Well, I can't tell you yet. <laughs> but you're I gonna know like you'll you're gonna it. like Secret's <laughs> new character. Uh, and then the last thing I don't think I quite it said the last thing was. Uh, the little charm is a phylactery of positive channeling, which is basically useless for this party. Because nobody in this party does positive channeling. Uh, uh. Uh, can you just put the spellings in the chat? I don't know how to spell sure. Um. Oh, that still sucks. I'm, my character's going to be sad about this. Oh, well, yeah, yeah. It's uh, sad. If I was playing Hester, I'd, I'd get you back. Well, I mean... I would force you to come back. If you guys send her back to her family, they might, like, pay for the funds to bring her back, and she might, like, approve of it, but... Um, yeah, no, I get that too. It might be one of those things where it's like traumatizing. Then, yeah, yeah, yeah. It might be traumatizing enough that Hannah is like, I'm, I don't right. want to go well, through I'll that. I'll check again. back later for the loot and the experience. Yeah. Well, I, I think we're. <laughs> yeah, I'm about to tally up the experience, but I'll put it in chat for you. So, um. Oh yeah, and then plus one shadow. Uh, 
I must read it. And I'm assuming if we're doing that, most of um, most of Hannah's gear is going to stay with Hannah. But I know there's a couple things that you guys would probably want to take off, like the. Um, I can't remember. Did she have a uh, the book? Yeah, did she have any of the shard as like one of the shards as well? Don't remember. What? I don't have a shard. No. I don't think so. Okay. Yeah. So she didn't have one of the shards. I anything, got a lot of but... room in a bag. I can just throw shit in there. Yeah, throw throw <laughs> yeah. all that stuff in there, Ron Pilbo. How much weight can you fit in your bag? Five hundred. You get pounds. a type two. Oh, okay. You yeah. got one of the bigger ones. Nice. Okay. So yeah, you you should be good then. I was gonna say like the plate okay. mail's taking up a lot of room because it's like two hundred pounds by itself. But yeah, you still still have quite a bit of room. Nice. All right. So yeah, I'll have to talk with Secret about uh like what what she's thinking for moving forward. But uh. XP. Let's a Karzog impressionist. Exactly. <laughs> like a guy who's like a Karzog clone. That would be really funny. Yeah. <laughs> Let's all become real. Like, I don't know. Yeah. I'm like, I don't know if Karzog had any clones lying around of him, but. No, he's. He was but no, clever, just, just like but an imitator. You know, like the, the Elvis imitators? Like that, but for Karzog. <laughs> right. There's a reason it's like why not Car actually a clone. He's just like, I'm first. actually just a super fan of Clark of Carzog. Exactly. Yeah. 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 Exactly that. Oh, jeez. All right. Let me get my calculator out here. So I got some tally, some XP. Um, I don't think there was a whole lot actually. Well, you actually get some as well for so. Um, there's actually some XP for getting the information that you got um and in, written into the book as well um depending on how you like because there's a few more ways you can get it like uh one of the ways you could get it as well as you could like ask the the call born as well but it has basically that information where they're like if they get this information give them this set amount of xp um so get that in there oh yeah the rock grubs are also Yeah, it's rough because like the rot grubs is like you actually healed up uh like you only had that one damage but that wasn't even the difference because the rolls were so high it was just like literally just the poison well she would have been at one instead of zero on the last round right if it weren't for that one oh i don't know maybe maybe it would have made i think secret then. said she got exactly to zero but maybe not huh oh no no i was like to beyond zero. Okay, you just yeah, that's can't what I thought. Go beyond oh, zero, okay. technically, but yeah. Yeah, it doesn't. Yeah, no, I, I above yeah. It. So yeah, the one didn't matter. Yeah, that sucks because that could have happened to like any of us. Yeah. And if any of us failed, then yes, I just had dead bad like rolls. Yeah. It just happened to be yeah. you. Yeah. Everybody else rolled pretty well on the uh, great... on their fortitude. She doesn't have a good fortitude, so it was yeah. I'm just a human. Yeah, that's part of why, like my wizard, I took my wizard. Although, I took although secret, great fortitude. We just and got... improved great fortitude. Just like scared of shit like that happening. We just got this phylactery of positive energy. So I'm just saying, if you're playing like a cleric or a paladin, <laughs> hey hey. I don't know how good this. Oh yeah, she oh, has a cure light good. wand on on Hannah, so you guys probably take that. Uh, well, I mean, right? there's a couple of things that you, you guys may or may. Oh not my take god, this phylactery is good. What the hell? It just increases your channel by two d six. Yeah, I don't channel positive energy though. I know you don't, but damn, if uh, I don't know what Secret's playing, but she's playing a cleric or a paladin, that would be so good. Oh. Okay. Yeah, it's just a flat 4,000 experience for everybody. Mm -hmm. Math worked out really evenly there. Yay, we level up. No, I'm kidding. (laughs) 
Oh, actually, no, I missed something. Uh, sorry, uh -oh. that's actually a, a little bit more. Plus another 1600, so. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, that was for the, if the PCs managed to learn a fair amount of additional information about the Black Keep by asking the right questions and learn at least half the information listed above. Yeah, I felt like we got quite a bit of information without yeah. actually having that much effort put in, but it's also because we had, you know, gotten the water for the dude. Yeah, no, you had already put in the effort. Yeah. Like, it, yeah. Like you made friends. <laughs> yep. All right. So yeah, that's it for for this session. Uh, we'll pick up back where we left off uh, yeah. in two weeks. That'll be on the eighteenth. Mhm. Mm so hopefully everybody can be here. Okay. That I sounds good. Think so. Uh, I guess I'll pop down to a different channel if Seeker wants to. Sure. Uh, yeah. Go to the Cookie Factory. Let's let's do that. Oh, maybe we could have gone to the password protected channel actually. Oh, I don't think it matters. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. See, I don't I think it is coming in here. All right, switch. So <laughs> Hold on, let me stop the stream here. <laughs>